Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a story about what if Naruto trained by Toads for Chunin exams. Before I start, please support for more amazing content, and do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This is written by Friawan and link in description and support writer. Let's start the video. Chapter 1 Forest outside Kanoha the night after graduation. If you ever touch my sensei again I will kill you Naruto yelled anger coming welling inside him as he looked down at his injured surrogate brother Irika. How like you could, it'll kill you in one hit Mizuki sneered. Fine bring it on and I will return it over a thousand times Cage Bushin no Jutsu and suddenly the forest was filled with over a thousand shadow clones. Mizuki didn't have time to respond as he was attacked by a barrage of orange clad wannabe ninja. I guess I overdid it hey Irika sensei? asked Naruto sheepishly. Iruka was stunned maybe he can surpass all of the Hokage's little did he know those same thoughts were going through the minds of two observers. Naruto close your eyes doing as he was told Naruto waited as Iruka took off his forehead protector and placed it on his favorite student's head. Okay you can open them now Iruka said voice full of pride. Naruto saw the new addition to his outfit and jumped for joy shouting about how he did it and how he would be Hokage in no time with unbridled joy in his voice. I promise I will make you proud Iruka sensei he said barely containing tears of joy. You already have Naruto. Hokage office. Well the kid definitely has guts and by the looks of it a shitload of untapped potential what do you think sensei? Asked a man with waist length white hair and red marks on his eyes. Yes he certainly dosed Jiraiya. But with that much chakra it is no wonder poor Naruto couldn't do a standard clone. He simply has far too much to control Sarutobi Haruzan answered. Well I was going to wait around a year or till his first Chunin exams before I took up training Dagaki. But I think it's about time I get to know my godson and take up his training Jiraiya said proudly. H.M. Kakashi will not be happy he was hoping to have the boy on his genin squad, especially seeing as the council will probably try and force him to pass his team because of the Uchiha Haruzan responded. Don't worry he'll take care of that anyway this is the same council that refused to let me take the gaki with me when I had to leave for my resha spying, even though Minato and Kushina left me as his guardian. What do you think the council's orders are going to be to Kakashi give all his students an equal time or focus on the Uchiha Jiraiya argued? Very well I'm sure Naruto and Iruka are on the way here would you like to stay and talk to him now? The professor asked. Nah I'm gonna go catch up on my research, and with that the toad sage was out through the window. I wish just once he would use the door the aged Hokage side and went back to stare at his paperwork before breaking out into tears. Chapter 2. Meeting the Sage in Training Academy Team Selection Day Naruto walked into the academy still on a high after the events of last night. He had graduated and knew a B-rank jutsu. All in all things were going well for our golden-haired hero. As he walked in he noticed a couple of the students giving him questioning looks apparently they were not aware he had passed. Naruto what are you doing here? This is for people who passed the exam said Shikamaru. Look at the forehead I did pass Naruto responded. Troublesome was the Nara's only response as he turned his head back and went back to sleep however his mind was working in overdrive he definitely failed. That means something must have happened in the time since then I wonder if it had anything to do with why all those chunin were running around like headless chickens last night. Shikamaru thought. He was brought out of his internal musing by the arrival of Sasuke's two biggest fangirls. Ino and Sakura troublesome though it was he just couldn't concentrate on the puzzle that was the Uzumaki while there was a banshee screeching right behind his ear at said blonde enigma for having the nerve to get between her and her sasuke -kun. Thankfully for all students and definitely Akamaru, Iruka arrived and forced in the class to quieten. Okay class you are now going to be given the teams you will work with until you make Chunin first we have team 1 team 7 will be Sakura Harano. Sasuke Uchiha Iruka began but was cut off by a very loud class member. Yes true love wins out I'm destined to be with Sasuke and Sakura yelled causing the surrounding students and Iruka to wince at how loud she was. Uh okay anyway the final member of team 7 will be Sai and your sensei will be Kakashi Hataki Iruka said before moving on to team 8. The rest are the same as canon. Hey Iruka sensei, why didn't I get a team asked Naruto. You probably didn't even graduate, you probably stole that Hitayat from someone else Naruto Baka screeched Sakura. That's enough Sakura the Hokage personally passed Naruto last night after he passed a far harder exam than the one yesterday. Naruto after this is over you are to go to the Hokage tower to find out your team placement that's all it says on my form. Okay now the rest of you, your senseis will be here in one hour till then I suggest you get to know your new team Iruka finished and left the new genin to their own devices. Naruto was a little pissed he had to wait till everyone already had their team before he was told to go to the Hokage tower but figured there was a reason so decided to hurry to meet his new team. Hokage Tower at the same time. Kakashi was confused and a little angry. He wanted to teach his sensei's son more than anything to try and make up for all the times he couldn't save him from a beating when he was in Umbu. Um Hokage-sama may I ask whose team Naruto is going to be on? 
I was hoping I could teach the boy Kakashi Hataki said clearly upset. The Hokage went to answer but before he could he was cut off. Mine said a voice from the window and all the Janin in the room turned to see the legendary toad sage sitting casually in the window facing over the village. Master Juriaya, why would you take on another apprentice, and that thing of all children why not take on one of the top students like the Uchiha? I mean surely you know what that the thing is one random soon to be demoted Janin said. He is a child who has very little talent, but has the will to never give up, and strength to cope with almost anything despite failing. In short he is like me. Why would I want to train a snobbish arrogant gaki like that Uchiha who has had everything handed to him, when I could train someone who actually needs it Jiraiya answered with a hint of killing intent directed to the man insulting his godson. Hokage Tower Naruto walked into the Hokage's office like he owned the place. Looking for any new faces he only saw one a tall man and no sign of his new team anywhere. Hey Gigi what gives where's my team already everyone else already has them except me asked the confused Naruto. Ah uh, yes Naruto I'm here to tell you that this man here has requested you as his apprentice Hiruzen responded. Oh okay hi I'm Naruto what's your name the blonde asked. I am glad you asked kid. I'm the great toad charmer from Entimayobokuzen, the legendary master Jiraiya completing his dance with the pose. Um Gigi can I have a sensei who isn't a complete idiot Naruto said with a deadpan expression. He he now Naruto, Jiraiya here was one of my very own pupils and is a very famous ninja. You can learn a lot from him when he's not enjoying his other hobbies the aged Hokage chuckled. So what are you going to teach me Jiraiya-sensei, some cool new jutsu? Naruto asked excitedly. Hold on Gaki gotta fix what's wrong before we can move on to learning new moves. Don't worry though it shouldn't take that long and I think a proper taijutsu style rather than that basic academy one will be on the cards then I promise he'll teach you a new jutsu Jiraiya said with a smile at the eagerness of his godson. Well then we better get started then. I can't wait soon I will show Sasuke team I'm not a dog Naruto yelled as he and Jiraiya left for a training ground. Training ground 2. Okay so what are we going to learn? I know you said you wanted to fix my problems but I don't know what they are. I mean I know that my chakra control isn't good but other than that I don't know nobody has ever helped me and I don't see what's wrong with my taijutsu style Naruto said looking to Jiraiya for some answers. HM well let's see first I want you to fight 5 clones against yourself and see if you can win. That will show you the holes in your taijutsu style will be teaching you strategy and a lot of chakra control exercises and once you master tree and water walking I will teach you two jutsu one of them will be a jutsu the fourth Hokage invented deal. Jiraiya said knowing that Naruto would be interested in learning a jutsu from his hero. Sure you bet just you watch Jiraiya sensei. I will get this stuff down in no time Kagebushin no jutsu the five Naruto clones proceeded to hand one legendary ass kicking to the original before he eventually dispelled the final clone. Okay you and sensei I need help with taijutsu but um I have a question when I was facing the clones after I dispelled them I could remember winning the fight like I was one of the clones Naruto said confused. Oh ho looks like you may not be such a dumbass after all you see the shadow clone is a forbidden jutsu for several reasons. Mainly because it uses such a large amount of chakra it is impractical and dangerous for most people to use. The second is because the person learns everything the clone dose you can be overcome by information overload Jiraiya explained. Um so dose that mean I can use them to help me train Naruto asked? Yes very good, now this is dangerous and I would go as far as saying that you would be the only person capable of using this style effectively because you heal faster thanks to the fox and your enormous chakra supplies the toad sage answered. You know about the fox? The blonde knucklehead asked. Yes I do and in time I'm going to help you control it eventually so you can use it to make you stronger. But before that we need to get you strong enough to be a good ninja without it. Now I want you to make 50 clones and get them to read these books while I show you the kata for my taijutsu style Jiraiya said. Awesome let's get to work the blonde yelled as 50 clones popped into existence. Chapter 3, Raisin Gan and One Big Toad Don't own Naruto Chapter 3, Raisin Gan and One Big Toad It had been several weeks since Naruto had been training with Jiraiya, and the toad sage had been impressed with the his improvement he had got tree walking down, and had almost mastered water walking, he had become proficient enough that he could now beat 10 clones at a time in taijutsu. Naruto had found a new hobby in seal making, and he couldn't understand why there weren't more seal masters in Kanoha with Jiraiya being the only one something which the toad sage was all too willing to boast about as it was considered one of the more difficult ninja arts. Okay Gaki looks like you got it down come to land and dispel your clones I'm going to give you a gift the white haired toad charmer said getting a jump for joy from his young charge. So what's the gift sensei asked an enthusiastic Naruto. It's the summoning jutsu the old toad sage said as a scroll appeared along with a small toad. Okay Naruto I want you to come here and sign your name next to where it says Minato Namake's Jiraiya said pointing the empty space on the scroll. Sure thing okay now what the blonde asked. Use these hand signs and then slam your hand down. Now for this you can't use shadow clones it has to be all you because you could have half of the toads of my here by the end of the day if you do Jiraiya explained. 
The training went slow and all he could summon was a rather friendly toad by the, the name of Gamakichi and his brother Gamatatsu, but he couldn't get anything bigger. What am I doing wrong Jiraiya-sensei Jiraiya-sensei? Are you peeking on the women at the waterfall you are aren't you? I didn't know you were nothing but a little pervert Naruto said angrily. Hey I'm not a little pervert Jiraiya responded I'm a super pervert. How is that better the blonde asked with a sweat drop. Anyway I think I know how you can master the jutsu you have to be faced with a life and death situation. And if I'm correct you will get in contact with the fox and start learning how to control his chakra at the same time the toad sage said. Near a valley that is for some reason just outside of Kanoha. Okay Gaki it's do or die good luck he said as he tossed Naruto off the edge please forgive me Minato he finished in an afterthought. Moments later Naruto resurfaced on top of a angry Gamma Bunta and after a small conversation with his new summoner decided to test him to see if he is able to stay on his head for a day which he was able to do passing out just as he made it to sundown. For the next few weeks Naruto continued training till he could summon a Gamma Bunta sized toad without needing Kyuubi's chakra and had even gone on number of C rank missions with teams 8 and 10 or just with Jiraiya most of them were basic like deliver packages to another small village in fire country. So what are we going to work on today Erosen and Naruto asked. A tick mark appeared on said pervert's head Gaki how many times have I asked you not to call me that? I will stop calling you Erosen and when you stop peeking on women wherever we go the blonde responded. Anyway today I'm going to teach you a new jutsu and this one is right up your ally it was created by my greatest student the fourth Hokage. And all you need is chakra and there are no hand signs. This is a three step process. First is rotation. The second is power. And finally you combine the two to produce this raisin gan a blue ball of chakra appeared in Jiraiya's hand as he finished his explanation. Awesome what do I have to do the energetic blonde was bouncing off the wall at the prospect of learning a jutsu created by his hero. Here you have to pop these water balloons, just like this and he rotated the water inside the balloon till it popped. Putting a bucket of the balloons down Naruto quickly made a hundred clones and got to work it took him several hours but Naruto eventually figured out that the water had to be spun in all directions. Jiraiya then started Naruto on the second stage for him to work on for the next week while he went to check on his spy network and left Naruto with Team 9. The following week was what Naruto would call extreme, especially when he made a promise he would keep up in Gai and Lee's extended physical workouts. By the end of the week though Naruto had completed the second stage of the Raisingan and had taken to wearing weights after he found out how much faster Lee was because of them. Naruto was now working on the third part of the Raisingan and felt he was very close, he could stop the balloon from blowing up for about 10 seconds at full rotation before it would destabilize Naruto had figured he could complete it with a shadow clone but felt he didn't want to be forced to use one the jutsu. You're almost there Gaki you should have it by next week. I have to go again for a few weeks so I want you to go get a team to do some missions with preferably AC Jiraiya said. Oh okay I hope I get some C ranks those D's are nothing but kids chores I mean I know they're to strengthen team cooperation but I mean we could have done them in the academy Naruto said. Yeah I know but that's the way sensei dose it. Maybe when you're Hokage you can change things so how are your studies on seals going? Are you ready to move up to the intermediate books yet? The white-haired man asked. Yeah that would be great I finished all the beginner's books last week so I've had the extra clones working on the Gokan Taijutsu style guy sensei taught me. It's good because while the toad style is defensive the Gokan is offense so I can change styles to what is needed for a battle Naruto said. Excellent work Gaki you're starting to think like a ninja I'm proud of you. Now keep working and remember to take all your balloons with you to whatever you have to do next week so you can get training in. That way you can show me what you have done when I get back Jiraiya said. The pair continued training and sparing till the late in the afternoon when Naruto made his way home and Jiraiya went to the Hokage Tower. The next day at the Hokage Tower. Hey Gigi I need another team for a few weeks. Erosenin has left again to perv on women or whatever else he does when he leaves the village Naruto said loudly. Oh yes Naruto Jiraiya told me you would need a team don't worry I have a C rank mission for the next genin team to come in for a mission the old Hokage said kindly. It turned out the next team through the door was a very cut up looking team 7 and Kakashi with a struggling Tora in Sasuke's arms. Okay team 7 good job catching Tora. Now we have a mission to paint a fence. The Inazukas want their dogs walked and kennels washed. Or there's Eno Tora come back catching Tora again the Hokage said with a small face palm. No the entire of team 7 minus their sensei yelled. Well we do have AC rank and your team is the last one to do one Kakashi do you think they're ready? Haruzan sighed. Well their teamwork could be better, but I would say they can handle AC rank no problem the copy ninja replied. Very well and you will have some help on this mission. Naruto Uzumaki, his sensei is out of the village and has requested Naruto aid another squad until he returns the Hokage said. Why Naruto, that Baka will only get in our way, I mean he screws everything up Sakura yelled. Naruto who had entered moments before had his head down why do I like her again? I mean she is loud and in all honesty has never treated me like a meant anything. I think I just wanted someone popular and smart to like me. Well not anymore I'm so through with her he thought. 
Anyway, despite what you think, Naruto here is a splendid ninja and will help this mission, I'm sure of it now. Will you send Tazuna-san and please, Hiruzen said loudly. In walked an old man with a straw hat and a large smell of sake. He wore slightly banged up clothes and looked a little worse for wear. What these are the ninja who are supposed to protect me, they look more like school kids to me, the man said indignantly as he looked at the genin. Chapter 4 Wave Naruto don't kill the client, it's bad for business, the Hokage chuckled. Okay, Gigi. For you, Naruto said, putting his kanai away before going to stand next to Kakashi. So I say we meet at the west gate in one hour, Kakashi said before he disappeared via Shunshin. One hour later, west gate. Naruto was looking at a rather confusing sight, it seemed like Sakura was trying to dispel Kakashi as though he were a genjutsu. Naruto had learned about dispelling genjutsu from one of the scrolls his clones had read, and Kurinai sensei had helped him be able to dispel and detect some basic genjutsu when he had some missions with Team 8. Where is that Naruto Baka? I can't believe he would be late just goes to show how useless he is. He's nothing like Sasuke-kun Sakura said. What do you mean Sakura? Naruto is in that tree over there. He's been there before I got here although he is doing a good job hiding his presence Kakashi said. The three stunned genin turned around to see Naruto lazily leaning against a tree branch. How did I not notice him? I mean come on he wears bright orange seeded Sasuke. Well shall we get going this mission isn't going to complete itself the blonde joyfully spoke. You're a weird one aren't you Gaki Tazuna spoke. Maybe but I'm starting to think a lot of great ninja have odd quirks. For example Kakashi-sen here obviously likes to read my sensei's perverted books in public. And there is this crazy snake lady that basically lives at training ground 44 who has a thing for blood Naruto said shivering at the memory. He and Jiraiya had gone to train in the forest of death only for his sensei to leave him upon the arrival of one Anko Midarashi. Anyway we should go, Naruto where is your stuff the silver-haired ninja asked. Got it here Kakashi-san Naruto responded pulling out a few scrolls from his small backpack. Kakashi nodded and the small group headed out towards Wave. Several hours later on the road to Wave. Naruto Baka what are you doing with those balloons? You're just trying to be the center of attention you're never going to be as good as Sasuke the pinkette screeched. I'm doing an exercise my sensei left for me. And I'm almost finished it anyway, so why does it bother you Naruto responded. Naruto is right maybe if you did some exercises less over there will pay more attention to you Sai said causing Naruto and Kakashi to chuckle and Sakura and Sasuke to go red in anger. Kakashi was watching the blonde very closely he had known immediately what the exercise was and knew how close the knucklehead was to completing his sensei's prized jutsu. Jiraiya-sama how much has Naruto improved from the dead last in the class if he is this close to finishing the Raisengan only three months after graduation Kakashi thought. Several hours later Naruto noticed what looked like two relatively large puddles on the ground and then realization kicked in. Hang on everything else is so dry how could there be those puddles when it looks like it hasn't rained in weeks Naruto looked to Kakashi who glanced back and faintly nodded indicating that this was indeed a genjutsu. The group walked past the puddles. But when Naruto and Kakashi felt a chakra spike they immediately turned around to see what looked like two Kiri ninja with breathing devices on. They charged at Kakashi but missed the fact he used a kawarami to substitute with a log. Naruto quickly jumped into action producing five shadow clones and sent them to intercept the two ninja who were making a dash for Tazuna. Getting in the way two clones successfully stalled the missing means while a third pined the chain connecting them to the ground. They soon recovered though and disconnected from the chain, dispersing three of the clones. Naruto responded by kneeing the closest ninja and using clones to hold him down while Sasuke and Sai dealt with the other. After the confrontation Kakashi walked out from the bushes much to the shock of the genin of Team 7. Kakashi sensei I thought you died Sakura screeched causing all present to wince and Kakashi to point at the log wearing his jacket with red paint on it. Well this is unexpected Guado and Mizo the demon brothers, be rank missing mean from Kirigakure. I didn't expect this. This mission is definitely not C rank anymore it's more like AB borderline A Tazuna I think you have some explaining to do Kakashi said sternly. I think it was Gato who hired them. You see wave has been bled dry by Gato. And he wants me dead so I can't finish my bridge and the country no longer has to rely on shipping to gain supplies Tazuna said laying on the guilt trip. Well we were still given false information. If you couldn't afford a higher rank you should have told the Hokage and organized another payment method. Now we have to decide whether or not to continue or go back to Konoha Kakashi said. I say we go on. He needs help and has an honest goal to free a nation. And I can't abandon him Naruto declared. HMP if the dobe is staying then so am I. I can't have an incomplete on on my first C-rank mission Sasuke said which followed by statements of agreement from Sakura and Sai. Fine we will continue, but once your country is back on its feet we will be expecting a full mission payment for the eventual rank of this mission got it Kakashi finished. Yes that won't be a problem at all, that you also much Tuzuna said happy to still have protection of the small group of Leaf Ninja. Two days later. So Tuzuna-san how much longer until we reach your house Kakashi asked curious how long it could be till he could read his little orange book again. 
Not long should only be about another hour at this speed the bridge builder replied. Half an hour later and Kakashi was on edge the fog they were in didn't seem natural and was getting thicker. It wasn't long before Naruto flung a kanai into a nearby bush but all it ended up being was a bunny strange that rabbit had white fur which is rare around these parts especially in summer my guess would be that it was raised indoors the musings of Kakashi were soon drowned out by the sound of metal moving towards the group at a fast speed. Get down Kakashi yelled Naruto grabbed Tazuna and tackled the old man to the ground as a large cleaver flew just overhead. Well well well. What do we have here a little gen and team a figure said as he came into view he could be seen as a, a bit taller than Kakashi with a similar face mask and no eyebrows. Zabuza Momoichi, the demon of the bloody mist wanted for the assassination of the water dynamo and attempted assassination of the Mizukage Kakashi recited in a calm yet serious tone. Oh my, it's Kakashi the copy ninja rumored to have copied over 1000 jutsu it will be a pleasure killing you Zabuza said in a cocky voice. Okay guys you stay and guard the bridge builder. I will handle Zabuza Kakashi said as he raised his hatayat to reveal his covered eye. So I get to see the Sharingan this early I'm honored Kirigakure no jutsu the mist grew so thick that nobody could see through it even Kakashi although he could still predict attacks with his Sharingan had no way of seeing the man. Eight vital spots heart, jugular, kidneys, liver, subclavian artery, spine, larynx, lungs now which will be my attack point. Zabuza taunted from the mist. Sasuke was shaking from the killer intent unable to move as he sat there under the massive killer intent. Slowly he was bringing a kunai up to his neck to end it but was cut off by Kakashi. Don't threat Sasuke you will be alright I will protect you Kakashi said in order to prevent the untimely death of his student. Oh I don't think so said Zabuza as he appeared behind Tizuna and brought his cleaver down towards the bridge builder but before he could Kakashi intercepted and deflected the swing with a kunai. Kakashi kicked Zabuza back into the mist where he couldn't be seen before running off after him. Appearing behind the demon of the mist. He held a kanai to his larynx and slit his neck but noticed he turned into water Mizubush and the copy ninja thought as he was struck with the cleaver ripping him in half before dissolving into water. Well I'm impressed Kakashi, even in the mist you were able to copy my moves but that's all it is, a copy. It has nothing on the original Zabuza boasted planning his next attack he kicked Kakashi out of the fog and onto the water. As Kakashi got up he couldn't see Zabuza anywhere HM where is he but before he could finish his thought he felt a chakra spike and found himself trapped in an orb of water. Forget about me. Take the bridge builder and run, he has to use contact to keep me here and it's draining his chakra Kakashi ordered his team. Team 7 looked ready to comply but Naruto refused to budge. Are you kidding? If I just abandoned a comrade I would never be able to look at Erosenin in the eye again you just watch Kakashi-san I'll kick this guy's ass then get you out of there the blonde yelled. Seeing Naruto's resolve and not wanting to be outdone Sasuke came and stood next to Naruto as Zabuza created several Mizubushin to deal with what he considered a pest. Naruto reacted quickly creating 20 shadow clones and sent them to engage the Zabuza clones. The members of Team 7 were stunned. Naruto the class dobe had just made 20 clones, and not only that these were not some illusion, but full body solid clones. How is he able to do that, and why haven't I been taught that jutsu? If anybody deserves a jutsu like that it's me Sasuke seated. Zabuza's clones were quickly dispatching the shadow clones with relative ease so Naruto decided he best stay back I need to think of something if I can distract the clones enough so that I can sneak by and attack the real Zabuza so we can free Kakashi-san I know Sasuke. Sai I need you to throw as many kanai and shuriken at them as you can. I have a plan Naruto finished by creating 20 more clones. Heck clones again. Can't you children see you're out of your league Zabuza smirked as Naruto's clones bent down to push off in a sprint while Sai and Sasuke began attacking at a distance with kanai. As the clones engaged suddenly ten more Naruto clones appeared around the original Zabuza and attacked him from all angles forcing him to jump what the how did that kid get past my clones he thought before coming to the realization that he had just released Kakashi from his watery prison. Yes. It worked I had some clones hanging to rocks on the floor while my others picked them up and when they engaged the Mizubushins quickly throw them towards the real Zabuza Naruto explained to the mystified team seven and Zabuza. Very clever Naruto. But now I have to finish this thought Kakashi. I got distracted and forced to let go of the water prison Zabuza said not wanting to think he was outsmarted by a fresh genin. Don't flatter yourself you were forced to let go Kakashi said as he waited for Zabuza to start the first move. Zabuza jumped away from Kakashi and started running through hand signs at the same time as Kakashi in the end both finished at the same time ending shouting water style. Water dragon jutsu. I'm far too lazy to write the real names and their English translation I will still keep the main ones like Chidori, Raikiri. And Raisingan don't like it Sumi, identical streams of water clash. How did that happen the Sharingan allows the user to copy and recreate what the other is doing but they defiantly finished at the same time, how thought Zabuza as the jutsu ended. Zabuza jumped back and started to run the hand signs, but failed to notice that Kakashi was once again performing the same jutsu only this time faster. 
water-style giant vortex Jutsu Kakashi finished, and a large spinning wave of water hits Ibuza throwing him into a tree. How how are you doing that can you see the future? Yes, and in your future, I see death Kakashi finished for Zabuza. But before he could deliver the killing blow Samban Needle shot out from a nearby tree and impaled into Zabuza's neck apparently killing him. Thank you for weakening my target. I have been chasing him for a long time the masked hunter Nin said in an even tone. Allow me to take the body. Farewell Leaf Ninja the masked hunter said as he picked up the body and left with a shenshin. Well anyway, are we almost at your house Tazuna-san Kakashi questioned. Tazuna was about to answer when Kakashi collapsed from exhaustion and overusing the Sharingan. Kakashi Sensei Sakura cried out in worry for her fallen leader. Naruto Sai and Sasuke checked him making sure he was all right. Pulling his headband back over his eye Naruto created a couple of clones that picked him up and they headed for the bridge builder's house. On arriving at the house they were greeted by Tazuna's daughter Tsunami and given rooms to rest in. The following day Kakashi came downstairs on crutches. Looking around saw his genin and Naruto eating breakfast Kakashi was about to speak up when Naruto voiced his very own concerns. Um Kakashi-san, I believe that Zabuza is alive. Chapter 5, The Meeting So you came to that conclusion as well Naruto yes I believe he is alive. That hunter Nin seemed off and didn't follow procedure Kakashi explained to the room. Yeah I read in a book Erosenin gave me that hunter Nin are supposed to cut off the head and burn the body of their targets. So why would he take the body with him unless the hunter ninja was working with Sabuza Naruto continued. Don't you two think you're overthinking things? I mean you checked him yourself Kakashi Sensei Sakura said almost pleading herself to be right. Yes but think about what weapon the hunter used Saban needles. It is possible to put a person in a near death state by hitting the pressure points in such a way that it shuts down all noticeable signs of life. No I think Sabuza will be back in about a week which means we have to train Kakashi finished with a look of seriousness on his face to indicate he was deadly serious. Um but sensei forgive me, but it seems highly unlikely that we have any hope against someone like Zabuza and a week's worth of training is not going to change that Sai said hoping his sensei would see the logic and not have to fight the legendary swordsman. Yes but you won't be fighting Zabuza I will. You will be fighting the fake hunter Nin Kakashi explained. Forest clearing one hour later. Okay today we are going to learn to climb trees the silver-haired ninja said in a bored tone. Um Kakashi sensei we already know how to climb trees Sakura said confused why their sensei would think they were that useless. I mean climb trees without your hands the cyclops said not taking his eye off his Ika Ika. He means like this said Naruto as he walked over to the tree and casually walked up the side. Well it seems that you already know this exercise, very good Naruto that means you will come with me and help me guard the bridge builder Kakashi said HM maybe I can use this chance to teach him something seeing as Jiraiya-sama took him as a pupil and I didn't get the chance. Um can I bring some of my balloons to work on my exercise for Erosen and then Naruto asked. Sure thing now the rest of you he took out three kanai and threw them on the ground at their feet use those to mark your progress up the tree. I will leave a clone here to watch your progress Kakashi made a shadow clone and left the clearing quickly followed by Naruto. Hn it can't be hard to do at all if Dobe can do it Sasuke sneered. Yeah I mean he was just trying to show off. I bet you get this first go Sasuke kun Sakura said fawning over her crush and obsession. HM it seems less is trying to hide the fact that he is angry that someone can do something he can't by hiding behind his arrogance I said in a matter of fact tone. Shut up Saibaka, what would you know? Sasuke-kun will have this down in no time just wait, and see screeched the banshee causing all others in the clearing to wince. Bridge 30 minutes later. Naruto was sitting against the side of the bridge still trying to prevent his balloons from exploding on him and producing another from a ceiling scroll after every failed attempt. Kakashi on the other hand was watching the blonde with great interest he's so close to completing it, yet the file I have on him says he was the dead last and had poor ninjutsu skills unable to create a standard clone. Well I guess it's no wonder he can't use the standard Bushin no just so it requires so little chakra it must have been like trying to fill a thimble with a garden hose and not spill a drop he thought watching the boy get frustrated after holding the balloon for 15 seconds only to lose concentration and have it pop. Naruto take a break from that for a while, I have something I want to teach you Kakashi said. Sure think what do you want to teach me Kakashi sensei Naruto asked eagerly. Didn't call him that before because he hadn't taught or offered to teach him anything. Well I was going to teach you a jutsu from your element are you aware of what your primary element style is yet? Kakashi asked while pleased the boy was so eager to learn. No I haven't done elemental work yet for the first two months with Jiraiya sensei all we worked on was fixing holes in my knowledge, tactics, a new taijutsu style, introduced me to few in jutsu which I really like in chakra control. Then last month he let me sign the toad summoning contract after I mastered water walking. And now I'm working on a new jutsu Naruto finished with a smile after listing his accomplishments. So you're working on the Raisingan how the copy ninja said as a statement not a question. How do you know I'm working on the Raisingan? The blonde asked. I was the fourth Hokage student, 
Did you really think I wouldn't notice the final stage of the training to complete it? Well anyway you have come a long way that is really impressive to learn all that in just the three months since the academy Kakashi said obviously proud of his sensei's son. Well it's not really, I have a way to get a lot of training done as a short period of time with shadow clones Naruto said with a smirk. Naruto that's ingenious, and I bet you are the only person that would work for because of your immense chakra capacity but why are you not using them to help you in completing the Raisin Gan? Kakashi asked confused as to why he would not be using them to complete such a powerful technique. Well because it took Erosen in a year to learn it without clones I want to show him that I can do it in less than that because I want to make him proud of me Naruto said. I guess that's understandable. Well anyway I want you to take one of these pieces of paper and channel your chakra into it. They come from a specific type of tree that channels your chakra into its natural transformation that's not to say you can't use the other natures take me for example I'm primarily a lightning type but I can still use earth style jutsus but they require more chakra and won't be as powerful Naruto nodded indicating that he understood everything so. Far. Okay so when I channel my chakra into the paper what happens? The young blonde asked eager to learn more. Well if you're a cat on type it burns right and it will crumple futon it will cut sweat and it will become damp and dot on the paper will turn to dust Kakashi explained. Naruto took the piece of paper and started channeling his chakra into it a couple of seconds later the paper split indicating futon and a wind affinity slash. Well it seems you have a wind affinity. That is rare and a difficult element to control but also one of the most powerful and also predominantly for offensive. I only know of one wind user in Kanoha and that's Asuma Saratobi the sensei for Team 10 Kakashi said. Naruto looked a bit downheated at this thinking Kakashi and Jiraiya may not be able to help him with it as well as if he had one of their elements. So what do I need to do to be able to use my element Naruto asked hopeful that he could still be of help. Well to have complete control over the element often takes years and is not usually trained until a chunin is looking to become a janin as it is in requirement to have two elemental affinities and to have a second you need to complete the manipulation training for the first Kakashi said as he saw the slightly downbeat look on the young blondes. Face. But luckily you don't need to complete the training just to use jutsu from that area so I'm going to teach you a long range D rank jutsu you can use with a kanai to make it attack at a faster rate also once you have completed the manipulation training this shouldn't require hand seals Kakashi explained. Kakashi showed the young blonde a set of three and seals and shot what looked like a strong gust of wind out of his palms saying futon, gale palm jutsu. Naruto created a hundred clones and got to work on his new futon jutsu while he continued work on the Rasengan and physical training deciding to up his weights from 20 pounds on each arm and leg to 50. At the end of the day he was exhausted but had successfully learned the gale palm jutsu and had started experimenting with how he could use it to enhance his kanai and shuriken speeds, so he was rather proud of himself. That night at Tazuna's house. The group sat down to eat dinner as a young boy came and shot a disgusted look at the group of ninja before declaring how they were all stupid to face Gato, and were just going to die which Naruto angrily refused was the case. What would you know about pain I bet you have all lived sheltered lives in that ninja village of yours you don't know what suffering is the young boy yelled after Naruto had denied what they were doing was futile. So what things are bad but you know what I have had it much worse, you still have a mother who loves you and a grandfather, a house to keep you warm and food every night. You don't know what it's like to be hated in your own village for something that is out of your control. You don't know what it's like to be beaten and kicked out of shops and forced to go through the garbage for food. You think your life is bad fine, but don't just sit around and moan about it do something about it fight back. Don't be a coward Kakashi sensei I'm going out to train and with that Naruto stormed out the front door with tears in his eyes. Kakashi sensei Naruto's life couldn't have been that bad right? He has to be lying to get attention Sakura asked. No Sakura everything he said was true. Naruto was kicked out of the orphanage at age 4 and lived on the streets for 6 months before Samambu found him and took him to the Hokage. The Hokage gave Naruto an apartment, but he has had to learn everything for himself, and was constantly being beaten and kicked out of stores. And that is the watered-down version Kakashi said shocking the small group in the room. Forest clearing the following morning. Naruto awoke in a field in the clearing of the forest when he heard a noise behind him. Quickly reacting he jumped up into the toad stance but relaxed upon seeing what was apparently a teenage girl picking flowers and herbs. Hello there, what are you doing out in the woods this early in the morning Naruto asked. Oh hi the girl said shocked to see one of the ninja who had been with the bridge builder when they attempted to assassinate him and my friend is sick so I'm out here picking herbs for a medicine. Tell me, are you a ninja, is that why you are out here the girl asked. Yeah I am we were given a C rank mission to defend this bridge builder. But it turned out this guy named Gato has hired missing ninja to kill the poor man so our mission turned into an A rank. Well life is funny that way I guess Naruto paused as if in thought before continuing but I will train harder to protect Azuna and help this village and to become strong enough to protect everyone I care about Naruto finished the statement like it was a declaration. That's good, I believe true strength comes from protecting those things that were precious to you it helps you push beyond what your limits to make sure they are safe the girl said in an approving tone. 
Why you're really smart. My name's Naruto Uzumaki Naruto what's your name miss? The blonde asked hoping to make a new friend. Oh my name is Haku and I'm a boy Haku said slightly annoyed to be confused with a girl. Oh Kami oh Kami oh Kami and I thought he was kinda good looking. Fuck me I've become Sasuke team minus the whole brooding and ego complex thing. I think I'm gonna be sick Naruto thought whilst trying to hold back a gag. Oh I'm sorry well anyway I'd better get back to the team I am with. They will probably be wondering where I am. I have been out for a while. It was nice meeting you Haku I hope we meet again someday the blonde said getting over his temporary mental breakdown. Yes it would be nice to meet again in more peaceful times goodbye Naruto Uzumaki Haku said as he left the clearing. I really hope I don't have to fight him he does not deserve to die. Why did you have to take this job Zabuzasama? Chapter 6 The Battle of the Bridge The rest of the week passed without incident for Naruto and Team 7. Kakashi had made sure Sasuke and Sai could make it all the way to the top of a tree before judging them ready. Whilst Sakura had to be able to stay stuck to the tree for an hour without being exhausted from lack of chakra. Naruto on the other hand had been working on his taijutsu and his futon, gale palm with his clones, while he was still trying to complete the raisin gan, and he often came into the house late and exhausted. Which was why on the day Kakashi expected the attack to happen he allowed Naruto to stay in bed for extra rest and join up later. Hey let my mom go a voice came from downstairs as Naruto stirred. Upon hearing the call he immediately jumped into action jumping out the window. Using the roof he quietly moved around to the front of the house to observe and plan the safest way to help the now tied up tsunami and Inari. Quickly deciding on the safest course of action Naruto made three clones and moved them to hide either side of the door while the third would act as a distraction. Hey let them go now Naruto's clone demanded rushing into the house and landing a punch on the nearest of the two thugs. Fuck off kid. Hey the boss only really needs the boy and his mother you watch them while I deal with this kid the clone suddenly backtracked acting scared while the thug walked towards him with a smirk on his face. Haha look how scared the little shit is just hurry up so we can get back to Gato and get paid the other laughed enjoying the look of fear on the young blonde's face. Unfortunately he didn't notice that same blonde sneak in through the window behind him. As soon as the first bandit excited the door the trap was unleashed, the clones on either side delivered kicks to his ribs whilst the third placed a punch to the stunned goon's face easily knocking him out. The other thug was shocked and went to help his partner but as soon as he moved was knocked out by an attack by the original Naruto. After tying them up and releasing Inari and his mother he decided to wake them up so he could question them over Gato's plans, slapping the goon who stayed to guard the mother, and son he waited as he began to wake. Why where am I he asked confused. Well you are where you were when you attacked an innocent family the blonde smirked. Hey fuck you, you little shit just wait till Gato gets here. You don't stand a chance the bridge builder is already dead Zabuza will have seen to that the tied up goon responded confident he would be right. Oh no the bridge, team 7. I gotta get there fast I have already wasted far too long here Naruto thought as he ran out of the house removing his weights for extra movement and speed. The bridge 30 minutes earlier. What happened here where is everyone Tazuna said fear clearly showing on his face as the fog crept in. This isn't normal fog, that only means Zabuza is here well looks like I guess the day right well well back for round 2 hey Zabuza Kakashi asked in a casual tone. Hey it's going to be different this time Kakashi Zabuza sneered with confidence as he walked out of the mist with the hunter ninja from before. I see you brought some help this time Kakashi said almost bored. He is far more than just help he has taken out John Neen. Oh look your little Jen and are shaking already the demon of the mist finished with a chuckle. I'm not shaking because I am scared I'm shaking because I am excited Sasuke said in confidence he cold easily matched the hunter. Sasuke rushed forward and the hunter replied in kind the two seemed equally matched for speed and skill. You're quite talented unfortunately I have you at a disadvantage. You see we are surrounded by water which means I can do this the hunter finished and ran through some hand seals. When he finished a torrent of water rose from the side of the bridge and cascaded down knocking Sasuke over to the other side. Sasuke quickly got back to his feet and rushed back towards the hunter only to find himself blocked by what looked like a large sheet of ice. I'm sorry but I can't allow you to get in the way of Zabuzasama. Demonic ice mirrors a large dome comprising of sheets of ice formed around Sasuke and the hunter stepped straight into one of them like it was nothing, much to the shock of said emo and the other occupants of the bridge minus Zabuza. Well I'm sorry to say your students finished Kakashi. Haku has never lost a fight using that technique Zabuza said matter-of-factly. Saigo helps Sasuke while I take care of Zabuza said Kakashi as he lifted his hatayat revealing his Sharingan and launched himself kunai in hand at Zabuza who blocked it with the blade of his mammoth cleaver. Inside the ice dome. Sai arrived inside the dome, but he immediately decided that it was a very bad idea the hunter was able to move around so fast he couldn't keep track and was slowly being turned into a porcupine from Saban Needles and his ink creatures had no effect on the ice and were quickly dispatched by the skillful hunter. That's it. Katon, 
great fireball jutsu came the enraged cry of Sasuke as a large fireball spewed forth from his mouth and rushed at the ice sheets, but much to his horror found the eyes still intact. What, how is that possible fire should melt ice Sasuke asked demanding an answer. Normally you would be right, but this ice is special as long as I have chakra the ice will remain intact the hunter said with no emotion in his voice as he sent another hail of Saban into the two boys. This continued for a while and the boys of Team 7 were not in good shape. Is he slowing down I'm starting to be able to see his movements Sasuke thought observing how the hunter would jump from one ice sheet to another far faster than normal movement. Suddenly Sasuke felt a surge of chakra to his eyes and the world became far clearer to him. He had just activated the Sharingan with two Tomo in his right eye and one in the left. The Sharingan so he too has a Kiki eye Genkai. Oh well it doesn't matter, I need to put them away to help Zabuza-sama thought the hunter from the mirrors. Sasuke was doing a lot better but the strain of his new Sharingan was becoming too much to bear and Sai was out on his feet as another barrage of needles finally hit their mark and both boy fell to the ground just as a certain blonde arrived at the fight. No. Sasuke, Sai please be okay Naruto shouted as he saw his comrades fall before him. Was this the first time you have lost a friend in battle they died honorable deaths the hunter informed the blonde with an emotionless tone. Shut up Naruto cried as his rage and sorrow rose and a mist of red chakra erupted from the blonde I'm gonna kill you. What amazing power, but it feels so cold, like evil itself. What is this boy the ice-wielding ninja thought as he noticed the hands of the boy the chakra was coming from became claw-like, his whisker marks thickened and his hair became wild like an animal, and suddenly the boy charged. With Kakashi and Zabuza. That chakra it can't be, did the seal break no but maybe it has weakened I have to end this now hey Zabuza. As much as I would like to stay and play with you all day, I think it's time I finish this said the Kakashi as he took out a scroll and smeared some blood on it. That power, what is that power? This could be trouble HM really Kakashi. And how do you plan to do that you're injured and bleeding while I am fine? You can't see or hear me how do you plan on doing that Zabuza said with a smirk confident he couldn't be found let alone defeated that easily. Like this summoning Jutsu, dog hunter pack as he finished dogs of all sizes appeared around Zabuza biting and holding him in place as Kakashi walked into view you see I allowed you to cut me during the fight so I could use the smell of my blood to track you. And if I could do it it was even easier for my ninja hounds too. Now I am going to finish you but not with a copy move, oh no. I'm going to finish you with a jutsu of my own creation now get ready as Kakashi finished he started going through hand signs. Meanwhile an ice dome. An enraged Naruto charged forward on all fours like a rabid animal the hunter was shocked when the Senban needles just bounced off the his body and was barely able to jump to another ice sheet as Naruto shattered the previous one with a single punch. Impossible no one had ever been able to break my ice before. I have to stop him but the ice user was forced to jump to another mirror again but this time he was not so lucky as Naruto had grabbed his arm with amazing speed he couldn't match even with his ice technique and punched him straight through the closest ice sheet shattering his mask. I'm sorry master, I am absolutely no match for this boy. I guess I am nothing but a broken tool he thought as he saw the blonde charge he closed his eyes waiting for the final blow. But it didn't come he opened his eyes to see the red slits slowly fade back into cerulean blue pain and confusion etched on the young blonde's face. Naruto had stopped his fist just short of Haku's face shocked to see that the boy he had met and befriended in the forest during the week was his enemy, and what's more defiantly was not a bad person. Why Naruto asked struggling to hold back the tears of hurt and betrayal he felt at seeing the boy again why how can you work for someone like Zabuza who would kill and damn an entire country just for money why? He finished with a scream as he collapsed on his hands and knees. Zabuza gave me purpose. I was an orphan when he found me he trained me to be his tool and now I have failed him I am broken and no more use to my master. Please kill me Haku stated with no sign of emotion on his face. Suddenly there was a chakra spike from behind and the sound of chirping birds could be heard. Then the mist cleared to reveal Zabuza was being held in place by ninja dogs and Kakashi was standing there with lightning dancing around his hand as he prepared to end the demon of the mist's life. I'm sorry there is one last way I have to serve Zabuza-sama and Haku took off before Naruto was able to respond. With Kakashi. The copy ninja lunged forward and felt his hand enter flesh and a heart explode however it was not the heart of his intended victim it his arm was in that of the ice user who had jumped in the way of Kakashi. Well looks like my tool served its purpose said Zabuza as he was finally able to break free of the dogs holding him. What is that all he was to you a tool to be thrown away when no longer useful he loved you like a father, I could see in his eyes. He didn't like killing but he did it for you, and that's all you have to say about him Naruto yelled arriving on the scene just as Haku had fallen. Zabuza had tears in his eyes damn it kid look what you have done to me Haku was like my son but I hid it behind my cold killer mask Zabaza responded. Just then the sound of clapping was heard from the far edge of the bridge and there stood Gato with what looked like around a hundred hired goons. Well well it looks like you saved me a job leaf ninja. Did you really think I was going to pay you Zabuza? Ninja are far too expensive 
and you couldn't even kill one bridge builder oh well Gato laughed at the situation the missing Kiri ninja was in. Well Kakashi looks like we are not enemies anymore, can I borrow a kunai so I can at least kill Gato it's the least I can do for Hakuzabuza said and Kakashi handed him a kwani which he placed his mouth and got ready to attack. Wait we can help you don't have to attack them on your own Naruto said taking out a kunai and wrapping an explosive tag around the handle. Zabuza just shook his head as if to say he wanted to do this himself and charged. He cut the bandits down like a knife through butter, even though he was taking some serious injuries he refused to go down till he made it to his target. Gato had fled to the back of a group of bandits but soon found himself face to face with a bleeding Zabuza who beheaded the businessman despite his pleading to be spared. Zabuza was able to arrive back at Haku's body before collapsing I wonder if I will be able to see you in the afterlife no, I don't think I will get that honor, Haku you were always far too kind for this line of work. I will miss you these were the final thoughts of Zabuza as he passed into unconsciousness and then from this world. That guy took our meal ticket. I say we take what we need from the town one bandit said but as they were about to move an arrow landed in front of them fired by Inari who had rallied the whole town to come out and stand against Gato and his men. If you want to attack this town you're going to have to go through us I'm not going to run and hide anymore I'm going to fight just like Naruto Nizan declared Inari. The bandits and thugs that still wanted to attempt to ransack the town were soon forced back when Naruto created 50 clones and tossed one of this exploding tag seals on a kanai just in front of the bandits blowing a small section of the bridge away much to the horror of a certain bridge builder. A week later the bridge was finished and it was time for the ninja from Kanoha to return home after a teary goodbye and a promise to come visit from Naruto to Inari they were off on their way. So what should we call the bridge I was thinking the super awesome Tazuna bridge said Builder pronounced which was quickly shot down by the surrounding townsfolk. Hey why don't we name it after Naruto Nizan said Inari getting cheers from the crowd. Okay then it's decided, it shall be called the Great Naruto Bridge Tazuna said with roars of the approving villagers. One day later Hokage's office. Team 7 and Naruto Uzumaki reporting back form C turned a rank mission Kakashi stated proudly. What shouted Iruka? Well you see we were on the way to wave when we ran into a few snags. I take it you collected the demon brothers Hokage-sama Kakashi said and the Hokage nodded as Kakashi continued to give the report. Later at Ichirakuramen. Keep em coming old man Naruto said to Tuchi as I am handed him another bowl. Hey Gaki I heard you got more than you bargained for on your mission came a voice from behind the blonde. Naruto turned around to find Jiraiya entering the store and sitting next to him. Arosen in your back. Yeah you can say that again and Naruto went on to tell the story of his first A-rank mission. Um Arosen and I used the fox's chakra but I didn't mean to and it was different from when I summoned boss Toad. It felt like I almost wasn't in control. I mean I was but it was like I wasn't myself Naruto said. I see well I think that when you are in an emotional state of painful emotions like anger or sorrow you subconsciously draw out the fox's chakra which feeds on negative emotions the reason it was harder to control than when you summoned Gamma Bunta is because of the situation and amount of the chakra you used explained Jiraiya. Okay so I have to find out how much of its chakra I can control and learn to keep my emotions in check to be able to use the fox effectively Naruto surmised. Yeah that's about it. Come on let's finish up here and get back to training. If you impress me I will sign you up for the Chunin exams next month this got an excited response from the blonde knucklehead who was already screaming about how he would make Chunin easily. Jiraiya just smirked as he followed the excitable blonde to their usual training ground above the waterfall. Chapter 7, Genjutsu and the First Task It had been two weeks since Naruto had returned from the mission to wave, and Naruto was currently looking for his ever-perverted sensei at the various women-only hot springs around the village, and becoming more and more frustrated that he was not at any of his favorite places. Damn that Arosenin, where the hell is he? I need him to train me or at least get a mission, I haven't done one since last week when I had to go catch fish with teammate and even then I had to stay on land after the first hour because Hanada kept passing out when I tried to take my shirt off to go for a swim to catch them Naruto was brought out of his musings when he heard a perverted chuckle. Standing behind him was Jiraiya writing in his notepad. Obviously something Naruto had said had given him inspiration. The thought of being in one of his sensei's perverted books was not appealing to the blonde and he quickly stole the notepad and ripped out the page before Jiraiya could respond. Stupid perverted sensei you're not using me in your books. Now why didn't you show up for training today I'm still having trouble cutting the leaf I don't know what I am doing wrong Naruto said. Damn it Gaki you didn't need to tear the page out. And I was late because I was signing you up for the Chunin exams. Normally you would need a team of three to compete but because of who I am the Hokage allowed you in solo the white haired toad charmer proclaimed. Yeah whatever you probably just promised Gigi a signed copy of your next book before it comes out or something. Now help me with my wind manipulation the blonde whined. Fine Gaki okay. Well I'm a katan and doton affinity. Futon is rare even in Suna right now I can only think of two people who are wind users. And trust me you don't want to have anything to do with Danzo. You should ask Asuma although I would wait until after the Chunin exams he will be busy getting his team ready. 
so just keep trying for now. How's the raisin gan going Jiraiya said curious how the rest of his young apprentice's training was progressing. Okay I guess, I just can't focus on the rotation, power and stability it's like I start to get it then it just slips away I can hold it for about 15 seconds Naruto said dejected that the final stage was proving much harder than the others. Well you could just use shadow clones to complete the training the toad sage said. No I want to do this myself and beat your time in learning it wait that's it you're a genius Arosen and the blonde cheered. Um thanks I guess the sage replied, unsure of what he said. If he was still refusing to use shadow clones in training, what else could he have said that would give the kid a breakthrough? Naruto created a single shadow clone next to him, and it started to spin the chakra whilst the original focused on power and stability soon there was a perfectly formed Rasengan in the blonde's hand. Yes I did it, Sierra said and instead of using the clones to train I can split up the roles until I can do it perfectly but it's good enough the excitable ninja said proudly letting the Rasengan disappear. Well done Gaki. Let's go get some ramen to celebrate the white-haired man said. Yeah ramen, ramen, ramen the blonde yelled happily as he walked with his sensei to his favorite ramen store. Ichiraku ramen. Okay Gaki excellent work on the raisin gan. You have it so it's usable although in hardly the conventional way but still well done now for the rest of the week we are going to focus on Genjutsu Jiraiya said. Why Erosenin? I thought you told me I would never have any real ability at it because my chakra levels were so high Naruto asked curious as to why he would be focusing the last week before the Chunin exams on something he would never be able to do well. That's true you have about as much talent for Genjutsu as my former teammate has in gambling. But at the same time you need to be able to recognize a high level one and dispel it. Otherwise the second you run into a genjutsu user in the exam you will be about as useless as an academy student faced with the prospect of facing Tora hyped up on catnip the white-haired man stated. Naruto paled at just the thought of Tora on catnip, and he was rather confident he could hold his own against most chunin. Okay I get it, so how do we do this Karinai sensei showed me some basics the blonde asked still in fear of Tora the terrible hyped up on cat crack. Well as you know, there are two ways. The first and easiest is to cause pain to yourself which is fine if you're as sadistic as Anko. But in the highly likely event that you are not sexually aroused by blood what you have to do is disrupt your chakra flow by performing the required hand sign and saying Kai this stops your chakra flow then bursts it out around you dispelling the genjutsu the toad sage said. So when are we going to start I mean the exams are in just over a week Naruto asked. Well start tomorrow I'm not good with genjutsu so I will have to get some help Jiraiya answered. They ate happily. Well happily until Jiraiya was given the bill and then went their separate ways Naruto was just happy to be learning a new skill whilst the old pervert was distracted by two women heading towards his favorite researching area. The following day training ground two. Hey Erosenin how are we going to learn this? I mean you said you weren't good at genjutsu either but I don't see anyone else here Naruto asked curious to see how he would be training in his worst skill set. Jiraiya wasted no time and summoned what looked like two elderly toads. One with a gray beard and hair whilst the other had curly black hair and was holding a rolling pin and was not looking happy. Jiraiya-chan what did you call us for? I was in the middle of making centipede soup the toad with the rolling pin said in a feminine voice indicating that the toad was female. Now ma, I am sure Jiraiya-chan wouldn't have summoned us for nothing, now what do you need boy the toad with gray hair asked. Ah uh, yes Fukusukusama, Shima-sama this is Naruto Uzumaki and my new apprentice and toad summoner, Naruto these are the two toad elders Jiraiya introduced the two. Nice to meet you Elder Toads Naruto greeted respectfully. Well anyway Fukusakusama, Shimasama. I was wondering if you would help me teach the boy to detect and dispel Genjutsu. Because if he can disrupt your Jutsu he will be safe from almost all Genjutsu Jiraiya said hoping that the flattery of their skills would save him from Shima's rolling pin. Very well we can help the boy. But next time you call us it better be for something serious or else the old Toad Shima said, slowly patting the wooden object in her hand getting small whimpers from the tall man. Naruto created a hundred clones to disrupt the genjutsu that the elderly toads were about to cast and by the end of the day he had only made a small progress it had proved it was going to take a bit longer than Jiraiya previously thought. The week passed and Naruto had finally been able to dispel most of the illusions placed on him and could detect them all. Naruto had discovered the genjutsu that he couldn't remove could be taken care of by channeling small amounts of Kyuubi's chakra but still found it difficult to know how much he could control as he didn't want to lose control but he had discovered he could use it without side effects up until the yokai cloak formed around him and the negative emotions fed the fox's power. It was the day before the first task of the Chunin exams and Naruto was currently amusing himself at the sight of what appeared to be a perfectly square rock with eye holes cut into it following the young Jinchuriki around. Okay Konoamaru, you can come out now. I mean seriously a square rock you can do better than that the blonde said in amusement. Suddenly the rock exploded in a puff revealing three children about three years younger than Naruto who were coughing from what appeared to be too much smoke powder. Ah just what I would have expected from my rival boss said the boy with a long scarf and brown spiky hair. Hi I'm Moegi and I am the prettiest girl in the academy said the girl with two pigtails. 
And I'm Udan and I like math the boy with glasses and a running nose said. Boss come play ninja with us, you haven't played with us in ages the young Sarutobi said eager to play with his friend and rival. Playing ninja Naruto you are a ninja what kind of baka plays ninja when they are one a new voice said. Oh hey Sakura. What's wrong with playing ninja their kids? And it's a good way to learn how to be a real ninja. Hey boss is that your girlfriend Udan asked curious of the relationship he had with the pink haired Kunoichi. Nah I did like her when we were in the academy, but I grew out of it Naruto said. That's good, that hair is like a neon sign. And that forehead looks like it needs two hatai to protect it properly Kanoamaru said jokingly. Hey Kanoamaru we better run Naruto said and got ready to chase after the young boy and the screeching banshee chasing after him in case he needed some medical attention to heal his ears when she caught him. Unfortunately for the young monkey he ran into a boy wearing a black full body suit and hood. Hey watch where you're going punk said the older boy grabbing the younger child by the shirt and lifting him up to head height. Kankuro just let him go said a tall girl with four ponytails and blonde. No I'm going to teach this punk a lesson. I would advise you put him down said Naruto seeing the Hokage's grandson was in trouble. Oh yeah and what are you going to do about it said the boy turning his head to glare at the blonde boy. Oh my god you must be the worst looking girl I have ever seen said Naruto in horror. Hey what the fuck are you talking about I'm a guy said Kankuro anger etched on his face. Then why the hell are you wearing all that makeup Naruto choked out causing a laugh from the girl. It's not makeup it's war paint. Kami how come nobody can see it's war paint. That's it kid you asked for this said Kankuro but before he could respond Naruto had run forward and grabbed his arm forcing him to wince in pain dropping the honorable grandson. Kanoamaru I think you better head home. You don't need to see some cross-dresser make a fool of himself this close to the chunin exams Naruto said not taking his eyes off the older boy or the girl as she readied her battle fan. But before she could act a wave of killer intent froze both her and Kankuro behind them stood a boy about the same age as Naruto with red hair and black circles around his eyes looking intently at Naruto. Jigara Kankuro stammered in fear of his younger brother. Kankuro, you are a disgrace to Suna I am sorry for my brother's actions I am Sabaka no Gara. May I ask your name the boy called Gara asked? Naruto Naruto Uzumaki the blonde responded evenly, carefully observing the red-haired boy as he released Kankuro's arm from his grip. A pleasure are you competing in the Chunin exams the redhead asked. That I am. I take it by the fact you are here with your team that you are also completing Naruto responded. I look forward to testing my existence against you was Gara only response before turning to his team Tamari. Kankuro were leaving come and he turned and left followed by his team staying a good distance behind. The following day at the academy. Naruto arrived and headed to the third floor. But when he arrived on the second floor he saw a group of genin in front of a door with a genjutsu on it he was about to walk around when he noticed Sasuke and yell at the two gate guards Izumo and Kotetsu underhenge to drop the genjutsu. Naruto couldn't believe the stupidity of the last Uchiha to give away what was an obvious pretest to weed out the weaker candidates. Shaking his head he moved on ignoring the resulting tussle in which Rock Lee had intercepted a punch thrown at Sasuke catching it easily. Team 7 caught up to Naruto as he was about to head up to level 3. HN looks like they're letting everyone compete in this thing if you're here dope. This is an exam for the elite's weaklings like you should have just stayed at home Sasuke sneered upon seeing the blonde. Hey and here I was thinking the same about you team, while small world said Naruto slightly annoyed the Uchiha still considered him weak. Sakura was about to reply in defense of her beloved Sasuke-kun but was cut off by the arrival of Rock Lee. Sasuke Uchiha you are this year's rookie of the year and considered a genius I would like to challenge you said Lee. Sasuke smirked in arrogance before responding you know this yet you still challenge me. Yes I do, I need to test myself against a genius to prove you can beat a genius with hard work the green clad ninja said loudly. Sure why not, it's not like you can beat me a Uchiha Sasuke said confident this freak couldn't beat him. I wouldn't do it, teen bushy brows is incredibly tough. I don't think you can win. Hell I'm not even sure anyone from our graduating class could beat him Naruto said in warning. Naruto's warning was ignored though and Sasuke charged Lee which the green clad ninja easily dodged and began what could only be described as one hell of an ass whooping on the poor Uchiha much to the horror of the pink haired harlot. Unfortunately the horror was not quite over yet just as Lee was about to complete his final move he was stopped by the arrival of the sensei of team 9. Lee what were you doing I told you not to use that move said the taller version of Lee. I'm sorry guy sensei I just wanted to prove hard work could beat a genius said a downbeat Lee. Lee. Guy sensei. Lee. Guy sensei. Oh shit. Quick look away before it's too late, but it was Naruto's warning didn't come in time to save Team 7 from a genjutsu that not even the Sharingan could break the fabled demonic beach sunset jutsu. Team 7 just sat there unable to avert their eyes from the horror before them when it was over the group finally made their way upstairs into the exam room. When Naruto arrived he noticed the rest of the rookie teams there so decided to greet them. 
Hey guys good to see you all made it Naruto yelled trying to ignore Ino and Sakura's arguments concerning what could only be considered the biggest brooder in fire country if not the world. Hey Naruto you're here as well how come I thought you didn't have a squad that's why you spent all that time with the other teams on missions? Choji asked. Yeah my sensei Erosenin convinced Hokage Gigi to let me compete by myself said Naruto stunning the genin in hearing range because of his lack of respect for the Hokage. Troublesome was all Shikamura said. Well if we need to fight someone I know where I'm going the dobe doesn't even have a team to back him up said Kiba. You should probably quiet him down you don't want to paint a target on your back said a tall boy with silver hair and circular glasses that looked two or three years older than the rookie genin. Who are you said Naruto wary of the new arrival. Oh I'm sorry my name is Kabuto and seeing as you are rookie genin I assumed you could use some information on the exams I myself have taken them seven times Kabuto finished. Wow seven times you must really suck said Kiba. Well that or the exams could be a lot harder than they appear the spectacle wearing Jenin said. Whatever me and Akamaru are going to the finals isn't that right boy the Inazuka said getting a bark in agreement from the puppy in his jacket. Anyway I have these info cards they have information on all the teams and even the individual members said Kabuto. Okay then Rock Lee said Sasuke Sabaka no Gara said Naruto Uzumaki Naruto even though it's troublesome to ask finished Shikamaru. Oh you know their names well that's not hard then let's see. Rock Lee here we go. It says here he has no skill in Nin or Genjutsu because he has a disease which has lead to underdeveloped chakra coils. But his Taijutsu is off the charts team members are Hyuga Niji and Tenten and his sensei is Midio Guy he's done 42 D ranks and 35 C rank missions Kabuto said before shuffling his cards. Okay next is Sabaka no Gara well this is a shock I have really little on him all I can tell you is he has done 12 D ranks 52 C ranks and 1 B rank mission and has never been injured the silver haired ninja informed the Kanoha rookies. This shocked several of the rookies at thought of going on all those missions and never picking up a single injury. Okay now for Uzumaki Naruto. He was ranked bottom of his class in the academy. While his chakra and stamina is off the chart with the only people in the village to rival his chakra levels are the Jiraiya of the San Nin and the Hokage himself. Jinjutsu is non-existent but Tai and Ninjutsu are well above average he was not given a genin squad and was instead taken on as the apprentice of Jiraiya the Toad Sage and member of the San Nin has a wind affinity. But it doesn't have information on what jutsus he knows has completed 10D rank 12C1B and while 1A rank mission this is impressive I would suggest avoiding Uzumaki Naruto in this competition the silver haired genin said noticing the proud look on the face of the blonde boy and the stunned look on the faces of those around him. Yeah whatever he probably just had a good team with him there's no way Dobe could beat any of us said Kiba. It would be unwise to underestimate any of your opponents. Even ones from the new village the sound could prove difficult opponents just as Kabuto finished a member of a sound team with large gauntlets on each arm who had heard him jump forward and attack the silver-haired ninja but he was able to dodge seconds later though his glasses cracked. From an unknown force. HM he pushes air out from the gauntlets on his arms if he were to break the gauntlets his attacks would become useless thought Naruto observing the attack and its effectiveness. Alright maggots sit down it's time for the first exam came a voice as a large man with scars all over his face walked in and stood behind the desk my name is Ibiki Marino. And I will be the proctor for the first test you will have one hour to answer the ten questions you will not be given the final question until the final ten minutes if you are caught cheating you and your team will be disqualified. That said you can use whatever jutsu or abilities you want to get the answers you begin now. He finished and sat down and smirked at the looks of horror on the genin's face when they saw the questions. These questions are far too difficult for a genin. Hell I doubt most John Nin could answer them. That could only mean that they want us to cheat yes there are definitely several people placed in here who were given the answers. But how do I get them? Oh I know Naruto thought as he silently summoned a small toad and silently gave him orders before it puffed into smoke. Twenty minutes later the toad return handed Naruto the answers and again disappeared Naruto filled out the answers then sat back and waited for the test to be over. Finally it came time for the last question which once again had a new set of rules so he wants to test if we have the guts to stick to the mission of very clever. Test I'm glad Erosenin gave me those books on psychology otherwise I may not have realized the blonde thought as he smirked. So blonde you look confident you know if you get the question wrong you can never retake the test Ibiki said trying to intimidate Naruto. That's fine Ibiki-san I don't need to be a chunin for my dream to come true it would be nice to get better missions but I think I will risk it thanks Naruto said with a small smirk indicating that he had figured out the test. Damn the kid figured it out. Oh well I don't think I will get any more now well anyone else okay now the rest of you pass. The scared man said and was about to continue when a black blur came crashing through the window which turned out to be a woman with dark purple hair and a ponytail and looked like a pineapple hat on an open trench coat and see through mesh top making the it obvious she did not wear a bra over her ample c-cup breasts behind her there was a sign that read Anko. Midarashi sexy and single proctor for the second exam. Chapter 8. The Forest and the Snakes. In the exam room Naruto was both stunned and amused by the rival of the women he so affectionately called the crazy snake lady. 
It was a look of shock shared by most of the genin there were a few exceptions, Gara's face held no expression whilst, Kiba, Kankuro and several others had perverted grins focused on the sexy and single Anko Mirashi. Well fuck a beaky 34 teams left you must be getting soft oh well once I'm finished with them there will be less than half of these numbers. Okay you little gakis, meet me at training ground 44 in an hour. And if one member on your team is late your whole team fails and with that Anko left through the same broken window she came and leaving the still stunned genin to register what just happened. Well damn a random genin stated finally breaking everyone out of their stunned state. Training Ground 44 The Forest of Death All right you little pieces of shit. Welcome to my home away from home, Training Ground 44 better known as the Forest of Death Enko pronounced loudly so everyone could hear her. Naruto however just looked off with a bored expression unimpressed with her attempts to intimidate the competitors. Enko saw the blonde wasn't affected by her little speech and deciding to make an example out of him took out a kunai and threw it at the blonde who was caught unawares as it sliced his cheek then she used a shunshin to appear behind him with another kunai to his neck. So you're not intimidated by the forest hey, well that's fine but you won't have that pervert with you to scare the animals off this time Anko said as she pressed her ample chest into his back and seductively licked the blood off his cheek. Naruto tried to remain calm but found it difficult. Even if he knew that Anko was just trying to scare him and the others she was still a scary kunoichi. Then he also noticed the looks of jealousy some of the males were giving him and couldn't help but smirk. Yes, but Enko-chan I contain a beast far more terrifying than anything that is found in the forest, and they know it Naruto whispered into the sadistic Kunoichi's ear. Enko was about to respond when they both felt a presence right behind them, and quickly responded only to find a Kusa ninja holding out her hand. I'm sorry Proctor-san I was simply returning your kanai the Kusa ninja said before returning to her squad. You know crazy snake lady, I think she might even be more creepy than you Naruto said suppressing a shiver. Hey I'll have you know I can be far more scary Enko said in mock hurt. Naruto arrived at gate 27 after signing his waiver forms upon looking at the neighboring gates he found to his left were a team from AIM who were all rather tall and lanky and to his left he found a team from IWA who were looking at him with hatred and anger Naruto felt uneasy as he recalled what Jiraiya had said about IWA ninja. Flashback Kid in the Chunin exams and out in the field a ninja might have to kill at any moment for a mission or to save a comrade it's a sad fact about our life but it's true and there will be times that you are forced to kill to defend yourself this is also important. So what I did is I went to the pet store in town and found the cutest bunny I could find I swear this thing has like a permanent puppy eyes jutsu on it here look at it Jiraiya finished pulling what could only be described as the definition of adorable. Oh my god that thing is cute I want to take it home and charge people to see it said Naruto. Okay Naruto? Yeah. I want you to kill it. What but it's just too cute. Come on Arosen and people would throw out fluffy kittens living in shoe for that thing. And have you seen kittens living in a shoe arosen in their adorable how am I supposed to kill it Naruto complained. You have to because if you can kill this bunny you can kill anything do you think I want it to go. Hell no the cute sob got me laid three times since I brought it. And that was only yesterday Jiraiya said in his tone serious to emphasis what he needed the blonde to do before turning perverted. Fine give me the bunny and with that Naruto brought his blade up and ended the bunny's life. It's done now why was this so important that I couldn't get a first kill like every other normal ninja the blonde asked. Because there will be some ninja who will target you in particular. Especially in this exam you will be the one genin without a team and that will make you a target and I want you to be able to kill without the worry of it being your first kill Jiraiya said seriously. Okay I get it Erosen and I just wish I didn't have to kill such a cute animal. Couldn't you have used Tora although now I think about it killing that demonic cat wouldn't have been hard at all Naruto said fantasizing about killing the bane of all genin. There is one more thing Naruto. I want you to be extra careful of the teams from IWA. They don't like Konoha at all and to make matters worse you happen to look a lot like the 4th Hokage who was the main reason IWA lost so many men in the 3rd Great Shinobi War. I want you to promise me that you will do what it takes to defend yourself and won't hesitate to kill if needed the Toad Sage finished giving Naruto a serious look to prevent him from arguing. Okay Erosen and I will make sure I will defend myself and whatever is necessary to defend myself or others the blonde finished and the pair went back to training. Flashback end. Now I see why Erosen and warned me against the teams from IWA. They really looks like they really hate me Naruto thought as the buzzer rang and he quickly made several clones and sent them in different directions around him as he headed deeper into the forest. Naruto headed through the treetops at an average speed till a clone dispersed and his memories came back of the IWA team attack at Naruto decided to keep moving and wait till they caught up. Several minutes passed as Naruto ran before he felt chakra signature and movement behind him turning around he saw the three IWA genin glaring at him the team was comprised of a tall boy around the height of Shino a girl slightly taller than Naruto with two pigtails on either side of her head and a short stocky boy even shorter than Naruto but wider than Choji all three of them had the same dark brown hair and hazel eyes. Well this is a bit sooner than I predicted 
but I guess they would catch up eventually. I mean, I wasn't exactly moving fast, so how do you guys want to do this? Do you want to give me your scroll, or do you want to loosen a highly embarrassing display of my strength? Said the blonde, trying to intimidate the IWA Jen and hoping he wouldn't actually have to fight them. Whatever you're alone, and you look just like the yellow flash, killing you will be our revenge for all the people he killed in the last war, the taller boy said. Well, I really didn't want to have to do this, but fine, said Naruto, as he got into the toad style taijutsu stance. Dotan Rock Armor said the taller boy who became covered in thick rock right up to his head whilst the shorter was still performing hand signs Dotan Earth Spears he shouted. Pillars of rock shot up out of the ground and flew at the blonde who quickly made a shadow clone to throw him out of the way before he was impaled like the clone. Well you have some nice Dotan Jutsu but you're going to need more than that Naruto taunted still hoping he didn't have to take the lives of the team. Shut up you blonde punk we're going to kill you and there is nobody here to save you you're all alone the shorter boy said. Fine, but you asked for this Naruto said creating six shadow clones before charging the IWA team. The clones and Naruto paired up two for each with Naruto, and a clone taking the taller of the boys on the team. The rock armor had made the IWA genin slow but his defense proved impenetrable even with all of his strength Naruto failed to make more than a couple of cracks in the armor even despite all hits landing on vital spots the tall genin didn't seem phased. Damn I can't damage him at all. What am I supposed to do I have to think of something quick because I do not want to get hit with one of those punches I need to create enough force to break through that armor yes I got it jumping back while his clone continued to cause a distraction Naruto made another shadow clone and threw a kunai while the clone finished the hand signs for the jutsu futon gale palm. A compressed pocket of air shot out from the clone's hand and caught the kunai more than quadrupling the speed and power behind the kunai. The taller IWA genin didn't see the kunai till it was too late and it passed through his rock armor over his heart like it wasn't even there. Brother. The smaller of the boys yelled while the girl looked on shocked having just dispatched the clones fighting her and her shorter team member. Well one down two to go Naruto said his voice emotionless as he turned to face the remaining rock ninja holding his hand Naruto and the clone beside him started to form a Raisingan while the, the two other ninja were unaware of the threat coming from behind them. The shorter of the two began realizing that they may just have been in over their head. And at seeing a jutsu feared all over earth country began sweating as Naruto began slowly moving towards them picking up speed as he went with each tree he jumped from. Run I will hold him off the boy yelled to his female teammate as he pushed off to intercept the blonde. But she was frozen in place with fear of the blonde who had killed her teammate so easily. And she could only watch as Naruto drove a Raisingan through the chest of her other male companion. She was about to scream when she felt pain rush up through her looking behind her she saw a Naruto clone had just forced a kunai into her back over her heart. He looks like he is in such pain he wasn't the enemy we forced him to kill the final thoughts of the girl as she faded into death, as she looked into the eyes of her killer. Please let them have a earth scroll I do not want to have to fight another team Naruto begged to nobody as he searched the bodies finding his objective before sealing the scroll into another with a blood seal where he stored his heaven scroll oh Kami thank you I can head towards the tower without having to be forced to fight another team the blonde thought as he kicked off towards the tower. Ten minutes later and the tower had just come into view much to the relief of the blonde. Suddenly a massive chakra spike caught Naruto's attention that's not a genin's chakra, that level rivals my own and I have QB. And it definitely wasn't demonic, what could it be, what if it's with one of the rookie teams damn it, what do I do, I have to check it out I still have 4 days to get here anyway and Naruto pushed off from the branch he stopped in the direction of the disturbance. Naruto had just slowed down upon sensing two chakra levels way above genin level and decided to suppress his own and creep closer thankful the training in genjutsu taught him how to suppress his chakra levels to aid in the release. Sneaking close enough to hear what was going on whilst remaining hidden from sight Naruto discovered that one of the voices was Anko, and she sounded scared scared and angry. Ah Anko-chan you seem to be doing well, the last time I saw you I had just marked you. Oh how time flies the second voice sneered. Orochimaru what are you doing here Anko spat trying to contain her fear. Oh I was just admiring the talent of this year's genin, and I was so impressed I choose to give one of them a gift Orochimaru swooned. You didn't Anko stammered. Oh but I did. I think Sasuke-kun will make a fine apprentice, even better than you were. That's if he survives of course but I think he will his will to live is strong, and so is his hatred Orochimaru chuckled at the expression on his former pupil's face now now Enko-chan don't worry yourself if you're lucky I may even come back for you. Go to hell. Shadow sneak hands Enko yelled as several snakes shot forward. My my Enko-chan I think you're forgetting who taught you that jutsu, it is dumb like this he said and snakes shot out from Orochimaru hands heading for Enko who appeared frozen in place. Naruto acted on instinct performing the gale palm and knocking the snakes off course. My my what do we have here if it isn't a little leaf genin? You shouldn't stick your nose in where it doesn't belong boy. I am simply having a conversation with my former pupil the snake said leaking out killer intent. 
Naruto saw the look on Enko's face she was frozen in fear Naruto knew he had to do something or else she was dead he had no other choice he had to use the yokai cloak. Channeling the fox's yokai Orochimaru was shocked to see the boy be able to draw out this much this boy must be the Kyuubi brat. This complicates things, I can't kill him, or the Akatsuki will be after me well let's see what this boy can do. Get away from her Naruto said his voice sounding demonic get away from her now. Naruto kicked off from the tree at incredible speeds and his fist caught Orochimaru in the jaw sending him flying. Naruto began to fall from the tree but a hand of red yokai extended from the cloak and pulled him up to a level surface but where the hand had grabbed the tree was burned and blackened. You okay crazy snake lady you're not hurt are you Naruto asked concern showing despite the presence of the demon's chakra. Yeah I'm I am a fine Enko managed to stutter out still frozen but now not in fear but in awe of the young genin's ability. Oh this boy to think he has such control over Kyuubi at this young age. Oh he will become very useful in dealing with the Akatsuki. But what if he becomes a threat to me? No I will deal with it when it comes not now. But I have to hit him with a five element seal and get out of here before the Hokage comes to investigate Orochimaru thought while charging the seals on his fingers and jumping forward. The blonde watched as Orochimaru charged waiting for him conscious thought beginning to slip and his blood lust towards the snake began taking over and he didn't notice the seals Orochimaru had formed. Fortunately Anko had. Just as he was about to mark the boy Enko reacted throwing a kunai piercing the snake's hand can have me owing you now Gaki Enko said relieved she was able to prevent her former sensei from having his way. Naruto realizing he couldn't control the fox cloak any longer released it in a huff thanks for that snake lady now how about we get this snake I still have a few tricks up my sleeve the blonde said creating a small army of shadow clones. The clones attacked the now injured Orochimaru but despite his injured state was able to easily dispatch them as if they were nothing be you a nuisance. Enko summoned a small snake and began poisoning her kanai and throwing them which Orochimaru noticed causing him to chuckle ku 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 my dear Enko do you really think poisons will work against me? I am immune to all snake related poisons I thought you would have guessed that he finished with a smirk. Damn it I am running out of ideas fast what about you Naruto asked as he tossed another kanai at the closet pedophile. I have a few, but I don't know how well they will work. He was one of the legendary Sanin after all Enko replied. Yeah but we still have to try I'm sure Gigi would have felt my chakra when I was using the fox, and has probably sent someone to investigate by now so we don't need to hold out much longer Naruto responded throwing another kunai only to have it blocked by the aggravated snake Sanin. Orochimaru was fed up and started doing and signs futon great breakthrough he yelled as he took a deep breath in and spewed out a torrent of air removing branches and uprooting some of the smaller trees as it headed straight towards the unlikely partners. Unable to escape the jutsu they both tried to cling on to the ground with chakra but the wind had such force behind it neither Naruto nor Enko stood a chance. Quickly getting to his feet Naruto saw Enko had a far harder trip and was suffering from at least a broken arm and was struggling to stand. Naruto was about to head over to help her when Orochimaru appeared behind him and gave him a kick to the side sending him careening into a tree knocking the wind out of him as he casually walked towards the snake mistress without a care in the world. The snake stood over the purple-headed Kunoichi who was still trying to stand and summoned several snakes to hold her down as he do a kunai to finish her kukukukuku look at you now Enko-chan Sasuke-kun will make a much better apprentice than you ever wr he was broken out of his musings as he had a kunai come flying towards him at inhumane. Speeds turning he saw Naruto and a clone huffing from exhaustion. The legendary snake Sanin casually caught the kunai in the hand he was holding his own and flung them at the blonde to fast for him to react both kunai hit in the leg to incapacitate but not kill but the snake was shocked when both turned into smoke indicating a shadow clone then he felt a large chakra pulse from just above him. Looking up Orochimaru didn't have time to dodge and was slammed in the face with a raisin gan sending the snake flying and lying in a crumpled heap dead. Naruto relaxed and went to help Enko up but when he got there he saw a look of sheer horror on her face whirling around he saw a pair of hands protruding from Orochimaru's mouth and just like a snake shedding his skin Orochimaru stood there with no signs of battle. Kakuka well it's been fun I am glad to say you amused me in the battle. I look forward to seeing how you progress Naruto-kun but sadly I can't stay it is becoming far too crowded and just like that the snake dissolved into the ground without a trace. Naruto kept his guard up expecting another attack but when he felt saw four new people in the trees above he realized why Orochimaru had fled. The Sandame Hokage arrived in the clearing to see Naruto standing defensively standing over an unconscious snake mistress but soon relaxed when he saw the Hokage. Naruto what happened here I felt a massive amount of Kyuubi's chakra horizon said urgently. Well Gigi about 40 minutes ago I felt a massive chakra spike in the forest that wasn't from a genin and it wasn't demonic. So I went to check it out on my way there I found Enko-san here in conversation with Orochimaru of the Sanin Horizon visibly paled at this then the blonde continued I had noticed Enko was frozen and needed help but I am obviously no match for the snake team. I knew I needed help but I didn't know how to send for it with the message reaching you in time for it to make a difference. 
so I channeled as much of the QB's chakra I could until the one-tailed cloak formed and I acted quickly knocking Oroki team away from Enko. Unfortunately I cannot hold that form for more than two minutes at my current strength Naruto side. Afterwards I dropped the cloak and with help from Enko was able to hold him off until you arrived GG Naruto said swaying from exhaustion. I see do you have both scrolls to complete the test the Hokage asked. Yeah I got my second off some IWA ninja who seemed to really hate me for looking like the fourth Hokage Naruto said with a somber expression on his face. Hiruzen winced at the thought of IWA finding out about Naruto's heritage while the Umbu present were just realizing how much the boy did in fact look exactly like Minato Namikaze. Naruto what happened to the IWA team the Hokage asked? Naruto looked down as if ashamed I killed them, they didn't give me a choice. I gave them a chance to leave and they refused to take it, an attack stating killing me was be their revenge Naruto said sadly. The aged Hokage internally sighed in relief that the genin were dead even though he didn't like that the young boy had to kill he was glad the risk of IWA finding out who Naruto really was were much smaller now. Well you better make it to the tower quickly so you can have a proper rest. I will take Enko-chan to the hospital the Hokage said as he and his umbu vanished in a shunshin. Less than 30 minutes later Naruto arrived at the tower deciding he had to open them now he discovered when the smoke cleared from the scroll that Iruka was standing there looking upon the boy with pride. Well done Naruto you are actually the second team here after a team from Suna you look like hell by the way. Naruto what happened to you out there Iruka said in interest. It's a long story Iruka sensei let's go in and I will tell you all about it said the blonde as they made their way into the tower. Naruto was looking forward to a nice long rest before the next exam. Chapter 9 Preliminaries In the days since Naruto arrived from the tower things had been rather peaceful for the blonde. He gave a full report to the Hokage with Enko the day she had left the hospital and after that the only time he had been put on edge was when he felt a large chakra spike from the forest on the third day of the exam. Other teams started arriving after that and Naruto was happy to see the Team 10 and Team Guy arrive for the most part unharmed. The days passed for the blonde relaxing until the final day came and he was asked to come to the ground level for the conclusion of the second round. Upon entering the hall Naruto was able to discover that all of the other teams had made it from the rookie year with teams 8 and 7 arriving earlier that day but still not showing much in the way of fatigue this was when he became aware of the other people in the room. On a platform surrounding the hall were the Janin senseis of what he assumed were the passing teams while at the front of the hall the Hokage sat with Jiraiya standing beside him, Enko and another sickly looking Janin were standing in front of the genin awaiting the Hokage to speak. Well done everyone for making it through the forest of death. But before we continue I would like to tell you about the third exam the old Hokage said. In years past the Chunin exams was a contest and a fight to the death between the best of the rising talent of every nation and was often used to help settle disputes with other villages. This custom has not changed and the final exam is a tournament that is observed by potential clients and dynamos from all over the elemental countries Horizon continued. Um I think I can take over from here Hokage-sama the sickly Janin said and he stepped forward. My name is Gecko Hate, and I will be your proctor for the preliminaries Hate was cut off by loud complaints from the group of competitors. What do you mean preliminaries we just got out of the forest Kibi yelled. We have far too many competitors at the moment and the preliminary rounds are designed to weed out those who are not worthy of being here or coasted through on your team's strength because while strength in a team is important individual skills are needed to become a chunin and to lead missions the sick John Neen ended with a cough. Now is there anyone who would like to give up for any reason the proctor stated before once again entering into a coughing fit. Kabuto and Sai both pulled out at this stage what Sai what gifts you can't be in that bad shape right Sakura asked loudly. I'm exhausted Sakura five days in the forest were stressful and I'm low on chakra it would be unwise for me to compete in any fights we simply didn't make it here on time I will do better next exam Sai stated giving the pinket a blank look. Anybody else hate waited okay good now the matches will be shown up on the screen everyone else will move up to the viewing area now the first match will be Uchiha Sasuke vs Sakata Yoroi the remaining combatants left the floor to the observation level with only Sasuke and an older leaf genin remaining with hate, while Enko moved to stand next to. The Hokage as Jiraiya made his way up to talk to his student and the other Janin. So Gaki I heard you ran into my snake of a teammate in the forest the toad sage whispered F.O. the blonde. Yeah he's really creepy I mean I actually thought I killed him as well, but he just shed his body for another like he was unaffected I guess I was totally outclassed Naruto said hanging his head. Yeah but don't feel too bad you held your own until help arrived and I am proud of you and you also were able to do something I have wanted to do for a long time shove a raisin gan right through the bastard's face the white haired man ended with a chuckle before turning to the arena floor. Sasuke vs Yoroi The match started and Yoroi quickly threw several shuriken at the waiting Uchiha who was able to easily block them with a kunai before rushing forward. Sasuke sent a punch towards the older ninja's face but he dodged it and attempted a leg sweep knocking Sasuke over. Quickly responding the Uchiha tripped Yore and sent him tumbling onto the ground before being placed in an arm lock. Really is that all you got Yore said as his free hand grabbed Sasuke and began draining his chakra and strength. 
easily breaking the hold the older leaf ninja sent a powerful punch knocking the raven-haired avenger into a wall before he fell on the ground struggling to stand. Making it to his feet Sasuke started forming hand seals but as he went to blow out the fireball he collapsed from the pain in his neck. Stands. So the Orochimaru's curse mark is gaining more influence when he uses chakra this will be interesting Kakashi do you need me to seal the mark after this fight Jiraiya asked the silver-haired ninja shocking the pink-haired witch that they knew already about her true love's condition. No I can do it I know you don't want to miss Naruto's match and I am confident I can use a proficient suppressor seal besides he is my student and my responsibility the silver-haired Janine finished with an eye smile. Anyway it looks like your student is about to win anyway that Yoroi kid ran out of steam fast Jiraiya concluded. Arena floor. Lion's barrage Sasuke screams sending the elder ninja crashing to the ground before dropping his leg to make sure he was unconscious. After the brooder was declared the winner he turned to walk to the rest of the competitors but was stopped by his sensei reading his ever-present orange book. Well well congrats Sasuke you did an excellent job in your match but now I think it's time to get that little mark of yours taken care of the copy ninja finished leaving with Sasuke in a sunshine. The contestants turned to the board to find out who the next competitors were they finally stopped on Shino Aburame vs Saku from the Sound Village Naruto found the match rather interesting especially as Saki used what appeared to be a type of wind style used without hand seals but Naruto soon found there were tubes in his arms which became obvious when Shino's bugs blocked the airways and his arms exploded causing his arms to explode with the beetles closing the air pathways and winning the match. Winner Shino Aburaim Hate stated calmly the next match is Sabaku no Kankuro vs Tsuruji Misumi he finished as the, the two genin made their way down to the ground floor. What followed was a highly amusing match where the elder ninja was completely oblivious to the fact he was fighting a puppet until the very end. Man he was able to win without actually have to do anything now that's my kind of fight said Shikamaru. Kami you're so lazy Shikamaru don't you want to be cool like Sasuke-kun said Ino in a lecturing tone. Troublesome was the lazy Nara's only response. The next match was Sakura vs Ino, and could only be described as pathetic it was dominated by Ino but by some strange coincidence the blonde girl's body transfer jutsu was not able to hold, and in the end both young Kunoichi knocked each other out the match ending in a tie. The following match was Tenten vs Sabaka no Temari and despite Kanoha's young weapons Mr. showing fine skills she was no match for the sand Kunoichi's win based attacks from her fans which Naruto was quite jealous of. Damn I want a big fan like that look at the power she has with her wind attacks the blonde exclaimed loudly getting a smirk from the kunoichi heading back up to her teammates. Now you don't need it Gaki once you master your wind element you will be able to do far better than that despite the fans uses it would be heavy and only suited for a long range fighter Jiraiya explained getting a nod and understanding from the blonde. The following match was Shikamaru Nara vs Kin of the Sound Village which the lazy Nara won by easily outsmarting the sound Kunoichi by casting a thin shadow along the thread of her chakra strings then forced her by the use of his shadow position to hit her head on the wall behind knocking her out. The next match is Uzumaki Naruto vs Inazuka Kiba the proctor called as the names blazed on the screen. Yeah I got the jackpot no way can I lose this I mean I'm only fighting the dobe Kiba yelled his voice filled with joy at having the so-called dobe as an opponent. I feel sorry for the poor boy there is no way Kiba will lose this Karin I said in confidence to the surrounding Janin and Jenin. I think you are forgetting who his his teacher is Kakashi said boldly. What do you mean Karin I asked? He means I have trained my student far too well for him to lose here I would go so far as to say that if he loses I would give up my research for a year came the confident voice of the toad sage who had walked over to talk to Kakashi what do you think Kakashi? I think Naruto will win he is easily Chunin level the silver haired ninja said shocking the red eyed Janin. Arena floor. You should just give up now Lucy you're no match for me and Akamaru, and I don't think you will want to be embarrassed any more than you already are wearing that orange jumpsuit the dog trainer joked. Well I guess there is only one way to find out if I am really an embarrassment, or if you're just all talk kibble Naruto taunted getting into the defensive toad stance. Kiba was shocked not recognizing the stance from any that he had ever seen before. Up in the stands. What is that stance asked Karinai who was now curious and still skeptical of the blonde's abilities. Jiraiya was about to answer but he was beaten to it by guy that Karinai is the toad style used by Jiraiya-sama and is a highly effective defensively focused style that uses the opponent's speed against them and attacks with large powerful movement. Young Naruto is quite proficient at it, and to a lesser extent my Gokan style which he picked up in his most youthful spars with young Lee the green clad ninja said to the others who then went on to ignore his shouts of how brightly Naruto's flames of youth were burning. Match I will win this so easily I won't even need Akamaru Kiba said as he took the puppy out of his jacket and settled into his own stance. Kiba wasted no time and pushed off at high speeds but Naruto easily jumped to the side grabbing the fist of the onrushing animal enthusiast and skillfully used his momentum to land a kick in his side and whipped him around throwing the Inazuka back where he came from. Hey I guess this might actually be a bit of a challenge sneered Kiba as he picked himself up off the ground man beast clone. He shouted as Akamaru changed into a perfect copy of his master. 
Oh, I thought you weren't going to need the puppy Naruto said in mock surprise still not having moved from the spot he started the match. Oh, it's not that I need him I just want this to be over quickly so I can relax and watch the rest of the fights knowing him in the finals, and with that both Kiba and his clone on all fours greatly increasing his speed. HM it seems his speed has greatly increased I could remove my weights, but I think I can manage this I don't want to give away all my tricks before the finals the blonde thought as both dog and trainer attacked at the same time looking to give Naruto no escape. Both attacks arrived at the same time Naruto quickly spun away to his right gracefully dodging both attack but they didn't let up on their assault and despite the reflexes and great defense of the blonde several attacks were still getting through and eventually Naruto was knocked back enough and both Kiba and his clone charged Gatsuga the dog. Trainer yelled and both spun so quickly they looked like a couple of twisters heading straight for the blonde. A direct hit, and the ground shattered around him spewing rock and dust into the air. When the smoke finally cleared Kiba was walking out of the crater with a smirk on his face Proctor called the match he is going to need medical attention. Ah oh, well in that case the winner is wait there is no way I am done yet the voice of Naruto rung out as he climbed out from the crater behind the now stunned Kiba with some torn and dirty clothes but otherwise fine. Well it looks like I played around with you a little too long Kiba it's time to get serious said Naruto and he got back into his toad stance. Whatever dobe just give up already you can't beat me Kiba yelled as he and Akamaru once again charged the blonde. This time however Naruto jumped right over one Kiba and kicked the other aside in one fluid movement landing behind the first using the momentum of the speedy Inazuka to throw him forward into the wall. Jumping back Naruto took out a kunai and wrapped a tag around it and waited for the Kibas to recover. After they regrouped they began to circle their prey and once again attacked from either side this time Naruto just stood there until they were close enough before throwing his kunai at the ground between his feet. Smoke exploded from the kunai and when it finally cleared Naruto was standing there with his eyes closed and in a hand holding his nose while both Kiba and his clone were having sneezing fits. My new pepper smoke exploding tags perfect against people with heightened sense of smell now to finish this I'm going to steal a move from Sasuke but I think mine will be better said Naruto making 20 clones. The clones rushed forward kicking both Kiba and his clone into the air then another kick in midair sent to them further up Yuzumaki Naruto Barrage Naruto finished with five clones jumping behind the flying Kiba and delivering a spin kick in the dog trainer's chest sending him crashing to the floor before Naruto finished it with a kick to the head knocking the poor Inazuka out. Because his opponent is unable to continue the whiner as Uzumaki Naruto the sickly proctor said through several coughing fits. Naruto went to check on Kiba placing his puppy on the stretcher as Hinata ran down to check on her teammate. Um co congratulations na naruto kun you were really impressive the shy blue-haired girl stuttered out. Thanks Hinata I'm sure Kiba will be alright don't worry too much good luck in your match Naruto said offhandedly as he walked past her to where Jiraiya was waiting for him. With Naruto and Jiraiya. Congrats Gaki you're into the finals and you didn't give away much in terms of skill I'm proud of you Jiraiya said voice lazed with pride. Thanks Erosen and Naruto said happy to receive the praise of his sensei not caring that the fatherly smile the toad sage had was now replaced with an irritated mock scowl at the boy's chosen nickname. The following match is Hyuga Hinata vs Hyuga Niji the proctor called out. Both Niji and Hinata were skilled in taijutsu but the longer the match went on the more obvious it was that Hinata while skillful was not on the same level as her cousin and the attacks were nowhere near as intense at the end of the match Niji went for a final attack to finish his younger cousin but was stopped by the observing leaf John Nin. So this is the favoritism the main house gets even here Niji raged. The match was over and you went to kill that is not picking a favorite or defending her because of what house she's in Karinai harshly spat at the usually stoic Hyuga. What was that for hey isn't she your family why would you attack her like that Naruto yelled from the railings. Shut up looser a failure like you doesn't know what he's talking about. It is fate that the strong will move on while the weak will fail it's impossible to change destiny Niji said not caring to see the looks of disgust on the surrounding John Nin and a look of disappointment from his sensei. Well then I am just going to have to prove you wrong because I am going to win this tournament and become a chunin and if I have to beat your ass to do it all the better Naruto yelled in defiance. Humph like a looser like you could beat me and with that Niji walked away to the other side of the hall. Okay now that the floor is cleared the next match is Sabaku no Gara vs Rock Lee the proctor after Niji and the John Nin had returned to the observation area. Yash now I can show everyone just how brightly my flames of youth burn the energetic thick eyebrow ninja yelled. Go get Emily guy said to his miniature striking his famous nice guy pose. The match was a real eye opener on the mysterious redhead's ability nothing Lee could do would get past the sand blocking his attacks from hitting their mark and Garrett just looked on with his arms folded slightly amused at the leaf ninja's efforts to hurt him. That's quite a skill no doubt but I know bushy brows ain't done yet no far from it come on Lee show them what you got Naruto thought eagerly looking on at the fight hoping to see something special. Lee take them off the voice of guy rung out. Are you sure sensei you told me never to take them off unless a comrade was in danger Lee replied. I give you permission now take them off guy ordered as Lee began reaching down to his leg warmers. 
Now this should be interesting I knew Li used weights like me but how much will that help him Naruto was brought out of his mental monologue when a loud crash shocked everyone in the room and Li took off in a blur what speed I don't even think I could keep up with him when I am using some of Kyuubi's chakra the blonde thought as he watched. Li, with his now enhanced speed he was able to get through the passive defense of the sand and land hits on the unstable Suna ninja. This continued for some time but despite how hard Li tried Gara still remained standing deciding to go in for a match winning move Li opened several of the eight inner gates and charged Gara performing the hidden lotus before shakily getting to his feet. Amazing bushy brows, I sure hope I don't have to fight you early on in the finals I would probably need a full tail yokai cloak just to survive a move like that the blonde thought but was shocked when Sand rushed out and grabbed Lee around the ankle and wrist crushing it before moving to spread across his body. Impossible were the thought of almost everyone in the stands as Gara lay on the floor with his face cracking and parts dropping off what appeared to be a condensed layer of sand. He uses the sand to form armor just like the IWA ninja I had to fight in the forest only by the looks of it this sand armor does not affect movement in the same way they have to stop the match now or bushy brows as dead Naruto finished his thoughts and was about to jump down to help his friend but was not as fast as guy who knocked the sand off. His pupil before taking him over to the medics. Gara won the match because of the interference but it didn't matter to him he was angered that he had been denied a kill. The next match was Choji Akimichi vs Dosu of Sound the Young Leaf Gen and showed he was strong but the last remaining Sound villager was able to easily overcome using Sound waves from his gauntlet to knock the Young Akimichi out and winning the final match. Okay now that the contestants have been decided we will draw numbers for the first round of the finals the proctor called. After the matches were decided and Naruto couldn't be happier he had Niji he would prove to him that a loser can be better than him after all he was the class joke the dead last the fights were. Naruto vs Niji Sasuke vs Gara. Shino vs Kankuro. Tamari vs Dosu. Shikamura fights the winner of match. And with that done the fighters left the arena to spend the next month training for the final exam. Chapter 10. The month before the finals. Training ground 2 the day after prelim. So what are you going to teach me Erosen and Naruto asked eager to learn what the Toad Sage had planned for his training. Well as you are aware your opponent is a Hirga who are masters of close combat, so we are going to work on your long range skills because at the moment you only have one D rank Futon Jutsu for long range and that is only effective when used in collaboration with Kanai or Shuriken so first we are going to work on your nature manipulation at least. Until you can cut a leaf then I have two new Futon Jutsu for you to learn the Toad Sage informed his young apprentice. But I still can't get more than little cuts out of the leaf I need some help from a wind user and I can't find a Suma Sensei anywhere the blonde wind. That's okay anyway make as many clones as you can and send a few out to look for him, while the rest keep on at the exercise Jiraiya said and the clearing was filled with over a thousand loud-mouthed blondes. Okay now set your clones to work we have other things to discuss the old pervert said. Sure what is it Ero Senin? It's your clothes. My clothes? Yes they're horrible I mean I can't have you representing the mighty toad sage Jiraiya dress like one of the signs at the strip clubs and I have been to them all in this town there that exact shade of orange. Don't you have anything else to wear the old sage asked? Well Bushy Brow's sensei gave me this Naruto said producing a green spandex one piece but before Naruto could attempt to replace his clothes with it his sensei had stolen it and was currently burning it with a fire jutsu and then he buried the ashes. You are never to be seen in one of those do you understand me? Jiraiya shouted shaking the blonde for emphasis now I know you like orange but you have to much and can we tone down the color I mean that is way too bright I think they use those jumpsuits on the docks in water country to warn ships when there's a fog he finished. Okay okay I get a new clothes so are you gonna come with me or are you just going to let me get overcharged like I always do Naruto asked. Hell yeah I'm coming if I left you alone you would probably come back in a Hawaiian shirt and track pants the sage joked. Clothing store. There that looks much better on the eyes Gaki now you look like a real shinobi Jiraiya said proudly as Naruto stood there admiring his new outfit. Naruto wore black umbu pants with a rusted orange trim and a black combat jacket with the same burnt orange on his arms and down the zipper. On his feet he wore standard black combat sandals. Think Naruto's outfit in Shippuden but the colors reversed. I didn't want to change his style too much. After paying the correct price as the store owner was too intimidated to attempt to con the poor boy while in the presence of one of the Sanin they left. On the way back Naruto and his clones were sent the memory of a rather informative meeting with the Janin sensei of Team 10. With Naruto's clone 30 minutes earlier. Damn it whereas Asuma sensei even Shikamaru didn't know the clone thought. Several minutes later he found the Janin walking with Karinai and decided this was his best chance of getting information out of Asuma without the rest of Team 10 knowing what he was doing. Asuma Sensei, Asuna Sensei I need your help with something the blonde clone called out. Stopping in his tracks the chain smoking ninja turned to see Naruto running to catch up to him. What do you need my help for shouldn't you be training with Jiraiya-sama Asuma asked. 
I need your help with wind manipulation. I can't seem to cut my leaf properly, so I was wondering if you could give me some pointers because both Kakashi Sensei and Erosenin said you were the best person to talk to about it. Please, can you help me? The blonde pleaded. Erosenin? Oh, right, Jiraiya man, this kid must have guts to call him that. An elemental manipulation is a skill that takes years to master. He could get the leaf cutting exercise down in a month, maybe, but that's rare. Oh, well, why not let him waste his time? Shikamaru is going to need all the help he can get, and what the hell, he has a futon affinity. Like me and that's rare enough as it is let alone in fire country. Okay Naruto meet me at training ground 15 in 5 minutes Karinai I'll catch you around Karinai oh damn she left me the chain smoker finished with a sweat drop. Naruto arrived at the training ground at the same time as Asuma who proceeded to take out his trench knives. So a wind affinity hey that's rare do you know any futon techniques yet Asuma asked passing Naruto a knife which he accepted questioningly. Yeah I know futon. Gale palm that Kakashi sensei taught me but that's it the blonde admitted. Okay that's alright after you master wind manipulation you should be able to do most low ranked futon techniques with no hand signs and that becomes very useful in tough battles because you no longer need to wait till the hand signs are complete to perform a jutsu allowing for an advantage in battle the better your control over an element is the less it gives away in battle now I want you to channel your chakra through that blade and I, I will do the same and we will throw them at that tree at the same time you ready receiving a nod and affirmative from the blonde they both began to channel their chakra. Naruto watched as a casing of blue chakra surrounded the trench knife but also saw a noticeable difference in the shape of his chakra case and Asuma's. What am I doing wrong yours looks like it has become an extension of the blade whilst mine looks weak and wavy the blonde moaned. Just watch now throw the blade at the tree the eye will do the same Naruto complied and saw as his blade went most of the way into the tree far further than it should have at the strength he had used. When Asuma lazily tossed his blade at the tree however it passed straight through and embedded deep into the dock behind. When using wind element chakra I find it best if I imagine my chakra like two blades sharpening by sliding against each other remember that sharpen your chakra like a blade Asuma said. Wow thanks Asuma sensei you'll let the boss and the others know now the clone said before dispelling to return the information to the original. So it was a clone all along looks like he already knows the secret of the cage Bushin Asuma thought impressed greatly by the boy. With Naruto Jiraiya and clones. After receiving the information from the recently dispersed clone cutting the leaf was completed with little difficulty and they began working on the futon. Great Breakthrough Jutsu and Futon Air Bullets Jutsu. That's enough for today Gaki we are going to continue working on this for the rest of the week till you can perform them fast enough that they would be effective in a tough battle where every second counts Jiraiya said causing the clones to start to disperse in groups of five. So what are we going to do the rest of the time if we're only going to work on this for a week Naruto questioned. Well in the second week you're going to work on your Fuin Jutsu. And Taijutsu Jiraiya paused before continuing on the third week we are going to work on controlling the fox's chakra better as you can only use the yokai cloak for around a minute before you become you begin to lose control of your emotions. What about the final week Naruto asked. Nothing at all I want you to rest up so you're not injured for the finals also I have to travel to Kumo to deliver some rather disturbing information to the rakage. I will be back in time to watch your match so don't worry. Oh, and one more thing before we go and get something to eat I want you to double your weights Jiraiya said as he got up and began walking away from the training ground with Naruto following closely behind. Alright but I'm Erosen and couldn't you just put on some gravity and restriction seals I read about them in those books you gave me on intermediate seal theory but there was no designs to follow the blonde asked. Well I could but I want the toad sage replied casually. What why not the younger of the pair demanded. Because that is advanced sealing and until you know how to perform the seal and remove it safely yourself it is too dangerous to use why do you think guy uses weights instead of restriction seals it's because he knows the dangers of using a seal you don't understand completely the elder of the pair lectured. Okay I get it Naruto nodded in understanding as the pair walked on towards Naruto's favorite ramen bar. The week went fast and Naruto had mastered the two futon techniques to a level that Jiraiya had been impressed and moved the blonde onto attempting to cut the waterfall but was not having much success as he could only use her four clones because of the size of the waterfall. At the start of the second week Jiraiya had tested Naruto's skill in sealing by asking him to perform the seals he knew and any he had created after witnessing the pepper smoke seal in his match against Kiba had been intrigued with what else the boy had come up with after all you don't become a legendary prankster without being creative. Your skill is excellent in the seals you know however before you can go on to the advanced and then master level seal work you need to be able to draw the seals a lot faster as some seals like large suppression seals would be too difficult to carry around like standard exploding tags and storage scrolls Jiraiya stated after inspecting all of the intermediate level seals Naruto had produced. Nodding in acceptance Naruto created a large group of clones and sent them to work attempting to draw the seals faster. Now as for your own designs well quite frankly they're genius for example the seal here is a multi-layer seal with a remote trigger instead of a time delay over explosive tag that responds only to the person who placed the seal's chakra I haven't seen work like that since the Yandame Jiraiya said obviously proud of his students work. 
Heh thanks Arosen and am still trying to increase the range the trigger seal will work from but I figure it would still come in handy if I ever have to set up traps without knowing the time of arrival that way I won't need a tripwire to activate the seals Naruto explained. Once you can draw a working explosive tag in under 30 seconds we will move you on to the advanced Fuinjutsu theory and hopefully by the end of the week you can get rid of the weights and use restriction seals. Now while we work on your taijutsu by sparing the white haired man said getting up and waited for Naruto to get into his stance which he mirrored. The rest of the week was spent mastering and learning new seals with his clones while having his ass handed to him by the toad sage in their spars he found it annoying that despite how badly he was loosing Jiraiya had refused to allow him to take off his weights, but at the end of their time working his reaction time was much better and had been able to replace his weights with the restriction and gravity seals. The energetic ninja wasted no time learning them as soon as his sensei allowed him to move on to the advanced fuinjutsu theory and application. As well as his first two weeks went the third was nothing but a failure no matter how hard he tried to master Kyuubi's yokai cloak he couldn't keep his emotions in check no matter how much meditating he did. I still can't get it all I have been able to do is go from one minute using the cloak to two this is so frustrating Naruto screamed in frustration as this was the last day of his training. You have to keep your emotions in check when you use the cloak otherwise you will lose control the Gama Sanin replied. It's not that easy Erosen and do you know how much of a pain in the ass that stupid fox is to talk to he won't give me his chakra unless my life is in danger or I get angry and order it out of him and then I suspect he only does it because if I am angry I can't use it for long consciously the blonde whined. Yes I can see how that would be a problem but still for a jinchuriki to have access to even a single tail of yokai at your ages is extremely rare for a higher level bijou and the kyubi is the strongest and most difficult Jiraiya explained. Wait so there are other people like me Naruto asked feeling sorry at the fact that other people may have been put through the same kind of life that he had. Yes there are eight others to be exact and some of them are even helpful to their containers like the Nibi whilst others are nothing but giant masses of hate like Kyuubi or the Ichibi Jiraiya explained. Damn it why couldn't I get a nice one Naruto sighed still thinking about his rather heated relationship with his bijou. Flashback. Naruto was falling down a cliff with no chance of survival unless he summoned a toad large enough to carry him to safety, but the next minute Naruto was no longer falling he was in what appeared to be a sewer with water all over the ground. Mindscape Naruto walked forward looking around until he came to a large room with a gate Naruto looked inside but saw nothing just as he turned to leave he heard an otherworldly growl. Ah uh, so it appears my container has come to see me. What do you want pathetic mortal this may be your mind but it is also my domain a voice roared out as a large spectral fox came into view glaring at the intruder. So you're the QB how well your size is impressive I will give you that but it seems to me you're the pathetic one to be trapped inside me Naruto responded trying not to be intimidated by the menacing creature behind the bars. You dare insult me the great QB no Kitsune if I wasn't in this cage I would tear you into a thousand pieces now tell me what you want the fox ordered. Well I'm sort of falling to my death at the moment and I need your chakra to help me Naruto demanded. No was Kyuubi's only response. What? Damn it you stupid fox if I die you die. You're living in my body now I want my rent Naruto yelled. Very well I will allow you to borrow my chakra when you need it but don't think I will allow you to use it as you please the fox sneered. And flashback. It's fine I didn't expect control over the fox to be easy but we will try again later Jiraiya informed the downbeat Naruto now I want you to enjoy your week off go see your friends I will be back the day of the exam so in case I don't see you beforehand good luck that Hyuga doesn't stand a chance. Naruto spent the next week relaxing and on the final day before the exams ran into Shikamaru on the way to the hospital. Hey Shikamaru what's up you ready for tomorrow Naruto asked. Oh hey Naruto yeah I'm ready I guess at least I have a bye first so it's not as troublesome the lazy Nara replied. So what are you doing I was heading to the hospital to see Lee do you want to come with the blonde asked. Yeah why not Choji was sent in yesterday because he ate too much so I guess I should go see him the pineapple hair ninja said. After the pair had seen Choji who had somehow snuck in a bag of chips to the hospital the boys made their way to Lee's room upon entering they saw the red-haired Suna ninja standing in front of the bed sand dancing around his body in anticipation. Hey what are you doing here Naruto asked. I need to kill him to prove my existence Gara replied turning around. What do you mean you don't need to kill to do that Naruto yelled. I have been killing before I was even a day old I killed my mother in childbirth and since then I was shun excluded and ignored because I have a demon in me and in the end the only way I could feel alive was to kill the looks on the faces of the people before they died of fear they acknowledged my existence Gara said the look in his eyes. Becoming twisted. Naruto was shocked by the statement to demon. Then he must be like me no he's not like me I at least had people who showed me some affection Gigi. Ikuka sensei and the Ichirakus is this what I would have become had I been completely alone a cold-blooded psychopath who has to kill to feel alive. Then when I was nine I started getting targeted by assassins my father hired to get rid of me as I was considered a failed weapon being alone made me strong, strong enough to kill everyone who has tried to kill me Gara finished with a demonic chuckle. 
Gara turned back from the stunned boys with the intention of finishing off his intended victim but before he could act the timely arrival of Guy forced the Suna ninja to leave. After leaving the hospital Shikamaru turned to Naruto and asked so do you think he was telling the truth about having a demon sealed inside of him? He doesn't sure of if Naruto responded well I will catch you tomorrow Shikamaru CYA and with that the two boys went their separate ways Naruto to Ichiraku Ramen and the lazy Nara walked home deep in thought. The day of the exams were finally here and Naruto got dressed and had a large meal before heading off to the stadium upon his arrival he made note that Sasuke was not there and neither was Dosa from the sound team but thought he would wait and see what happens. Looking up to the Hokage booth he saw the Hokage and another man with a similar outfit however he had a hat with the sign for wind on it rather than fire. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Chunin exam finals unfortunately one of our contestants has had to pull out so there will be a change to the fourth match it will now be Sabaka no Temari vs Shikamaru Nara. Now let the Chunin selection tournament begin the Hokage said getting cheers of approval from the crowd. Hello my name is Gunma and I will be your proctor for today's event rules are simple. The winner is the last man standing killing is allowed although it is frowned upon I can also step in and call an end to the match if needed. Now can all the contestants apart from those in the first match please move to the viewing area. The first match is Hyuga Niji vs Uzumaki Naruto the proctor finished placing a Samban needle in his teeth to chew on, while the other contestants other than the stoic Hyuga and the energetic blonde left the tournament floor. Now Hyuga Niji ready? Genma asked receiving a small nod in acknowledgement. Uzumaki Naruto ready? You know it. Then begin. Chapter 11, The Finals The proctor called for the match to begin but neither moved from their spots or even entered a fighting stance as the crowd looked on confused as to what was happening. I am going to give you this one chance looser fate has decided you will lose today just give up the stoic Hyuga taunted. Well it's a good thing I don't believe in fate then because I never give up and I never surrender Naruto stated. Very well then you leave me no choice but to beat you into submission Niji sneered as he got into his gentle fist stance. Bring it on the blonde responded forming a hand seal. They acted at the same time Niji activated his bloodline and ran forward at pace while Naruto made two clones to intercept his charge while backing up. The Hyuga reached the first clone and went for a fist strike but the clone was able to dodge out of the way in time and attempted to sweep his leg, while the other clone went to punch Niji in the side of the head. Niji was just able to maneuver out of the way diving forward into a roll turning to deliver a gentle fist strike to the two clones. Is that all you got two clones and you didn't even fight you ran to the other side of the arena you see you are nothing but a dead last looser who will always be a looser it is fate Niji stated. Yeah it might be that or maybe your Byakugan isn't as all seeing as you think it is Naruto yelled while finishing some hand signs futon wind bullets. Naruto took in a deep breath then hit his chest with his hand and shot out pockets of compressed air forcing Niji to dodge keeping him on the back foot when Naruto was finally out of air he began a second set of hand signs not giving the white-eyed genin a chance to catch his breath. Kagabuth that young genin shows great promise Hokage Dano he is successfully keeping the Hyuga away from him a master stroke against a taijutsu expert like a Hyuga the Kazakage said. Yes he has become one of my most reliable and yet unpredictable ninja I have the Hokage informed the wind shadow. Stands. While look at that Niji can't get a hit in Shoji said between handfuls of chips. Yeah but he still can't win this is Naruto we're talking about Ino said trying to mask how impressive Naruto's display really was. Yeah Naruto Baka is just getting lucky he doesn't actually stand a chance only Sasuke Kun stands a chance against someone like Niji Sakura said. Think what you want but I had to fight Naruto and I could tell he wasn't even trying against me. I would say Niji will have a much harder fight than you think I mean look at him he can't get near Naruto Kiba stated. Arena. Futon. Great breakthrough Naruto yelled before taking in a deep breath of and then releasing a great gale of wind ripping some of the branches off some nearby trees but just before the gale hit its target. Kate and the stoic Niji screamed as he spun creating a large dome of chakra diverting the air around him. Stands. Father that was yes I know the Katen is a main branch move and young Niji was able to use it truly he is a genius worthy of the main house Haishi Hyuga said to his younger daughter. Damn that move will effectively make my long range jutsu useless I guess I am going to have to get my hands dirty in close range still better keep some backup for long range Naruto thought before creating two shadow clones and charging forward. Naruto and Niji were matching each other blow for blow Niji's slightly superior taijutsu ability was offset by Naruto's clones who would send kunai or futon jutsu at the Hyuga whenever there was an opening. Stands. Well looks like the kid has improved a lot, he has definitely got my vote for Chunin his use of shadow clones is rather impressive, and he has some great win Jetsu Saizumo said. Yeah he has my vote as well the Hyuga not so much he has shown great skill in his own style but his tactics are not up to scratch Kotetsu responding in agreement. Arena. Niji had, had enough and finally showed his frustration by changing his focus from the real Naruto to his clones. Naruto used this distraction and fired a futon. Wind bullet at Niji from behind, 
hitting him in the back Niji flew forward dispelling both clones as he collapsed on the floor. Naruto walked forward to inspect the fallen Hyuga who was gingerly getting to his feet tell me Niji what is it that has you so obsessed with fate the blonde asked still approaching Niji. In our family it is fate that the branch house serves the main, we give out lives and servitude to them I found that out when my father was ordered to die in place of his brother Hayashisama Niji said as he began loosening his hatai we are even given a seal and so we know our place you would have no idea what it's like to have a seal that defines who you are. Oh, and by the way, you are in my field of division 8 trigram 64 palms, Niji yelled. Two palms. Four palms. Eight palms. Sixteen palms. Thirty-two palms. Eight trigram 64 palms. Niji finished his attack and Naruto coughed up a small amount of blood. Stands. Oh well, he fought well to bad his opponent was Niji tent and said truly feeling sorry for the blonde. Can't believe it that was the first attack Niji got in on him, and it's over Kibi yelled. Oh come on Kiba you honestly can't think Naruto Baka even had a chance to you screech Sakura. Kage booth. A shame Hokage Dano but he has at least shown he is Chunin material the Kazakage offered up. Yes Naruto-kun has shown great tactical awareness up until this point I wouldn't be surprised if the Janin council promoted him Haruzen said. Arena. Proctor you can call the match nobody can continue to fight after that MOV Niji was cut off as Naruto began to stand and started laughing. What are you laughing about there is no way you can beat me I closed off all of your tenketsu points how you are even standing is astounding in itself Niji stated matter of factly. I'm laughing at the fact you don't think I could possibly know what it's like to have a seal I have no had no control over receiving Naruto chuckled out lifting his shirt as he began to channel Kyuubi's chakra. The eight divisions Shiki Fuen seal came into view for all to see shocking the crowd I know exactly what that's like and you are just like me fighting destiny at every corner that's why you tried too hard to hurt Hinata even though she only wants to help the branch family you and your eyes are once again blind Naruto finished with a primal growl as red. Chakra exploded out from his body reopening his chakra points. Stands with the rookies. Oh my god what is that red chakra it feels so evil nothing like Naruto at all Ino yelled shivering under the power radiating off her fellow blonde. So much power it's unbearable said Choji as he actually stoked eating to gaze into the ring. All the other Jennin could do was nod dumbly in response. Stands with the Jannin senseis. That power is it breaking out no he is using it but to use so much at such a young age. Incredible Asuma gasped while Guy and Karinai could only nod dumbly in response. Contestant booth. There were three different faces in this booth fear on the face of Kankuro and Temari knowing what demonic chakra felt like and this was on a level that made Gara using anything but his transformation state look like child's play. Deep thought were the on the faces of Shikamaru and Shino. Shikamaru was piecing together everything he had heard and guessed while Shino's bugs were telling him all they needed to know and they both had the same thoughts Jinchuriki. Gara had a look of hunger on his face gazing into the ring at what would be his next mother's most awarding meal. Arena the red chakra receded back into the seal and the audience collectively let out their breaths however Naruto was still channeling enough of the fox's chakra to have his eyes the slitted blood red and hands like claws. Okay Niji no more games Naruto said raising his hands into a seal Niji did not recognize. Kai seals shimmered to existence on Naruto's hands before fading the few in the audience who knew what he did were very impressed and as soon as he kicked off with his new speed so was the rest of the people in the stands. Niji couldn't keep up Naruto was all over the ring even with his Byakugan following the blonde was almost impossible being backed into a corner Niji did the only thing he could think of. Katen the large dome expanded out throwing Naruto back Niji was left panting from light exhaustion from the effort the Katen requires. So he uses rotation and chakra manipulation to create a shell well I wonder how that will compete against a more condensed rotation Naruto thought as he created a clone and began pouring Churka into his hand while the clone started spinning it. Niji observed the spinning ball of chakra with interest and after deciding that it was not something that he wanted to be hit by prepared another katan as Naruto charged. With the Janin senseis. What is that jutsu it has no element Karina I asked confused as to what she was seeing. Both Asuma and Guy just looked on dumbly at the sight before them like they were seeing a ghost but it was Asuma who responded first with a shocked gasp of Rasengan Karina I just blinked and turned back trying to hide her shock that this was one of the legendary jutsu created by the Yandame Hokage. With the rookies. What the hell is that yelled Kiba? How it's just chakra how can it be visible Ino and Sakura both asked nobody in Particiler. I don't know but it sure looks like it could do some serious damage Choji said he had returned to munching on his chips after the shock of the red chakra. HN that Naruto Baka trying to be cool a bet Sasuke kun wouldn't even break a sweat beating either of them Sakura said in a huff receiving are you serious looks from the surrounding rookies. The fight. Kate and Rasengan the two moves clashed fighting for dominance however slowly but surely Naruto began to cut through the Rasengan until eventually the Katen broke and the Rasengan slammed into the gut of the usually stoic and now shocked Hyuga sending him flying into the wall before collapsing in a hump. 
Niji struggled but failed to stand how he was the dead last whilst I was the prodigy of the Hirga. How can I lose? Was this fate? No, he fought against fate, and one Niji thought as he was losing consciousness. And in case you think I was fated to win this or am a genius, I failed the genin exam three times because I couldn't do one jutsu it was the only one I had trouble with but no matter how hard I tried I couldn't make a decent bushin but I can't believe you give up so easily. Because you're not like me you're not a loser so get over the tough stuff and you can overcome anything Naruto said just as Niji faded into unconsciousness. Hyuga Niji is unable to continue winner Uzumaki Naruto the proctor called out and cheers erupted from the crowd for the unforgettable match they had just witnessed shocking Naruto to hear him being so accepted by the audience he couldn't help himself, and he went on a lap of the ground cheering along with the applause. Ahem the next match will be Uchiha Sasuke vs Sabaka no Gara but as Sasuke is not here we will wait for Hokage-sama to decide on what will happen the proctor announced. Kage booth. You have to disqualify him Hokage-sama it would be seen as favoritism to do otherwise a sparrow mastambu reasoned. You are right I see no other option but to disqualify the Uchiha Saratobi said. I beg you to reconsider Hokage Dano many of the audience came just to see the Uchiha face my son Gara the Kazakage asked with a hint of pleading who don't we postpone the Uchiha's match until the end of the round and go on to the other matches first. HM very well we will postpone the match until the end of the round the Hokage stated. With Jiraiya. Hey I knew you would win Gaki I never had a doubt Jiraiya said he had been observing the fight in between his research from a tree outside a nearby hot springs. On the floor. As Sasuke Uchiha is not here we will go on to the other matches and the match against Gara will be moved to match 4 so the next match will be Sabaka no Kankuro vs Aburaim Shino will the fighters PLE but Ginma didn't get to finish as the puppet user forfeited causing several boos from the stands. Oh okay then will Sabaka no Temari and Naro Shikamaru please come down to the floor Ginma called out as Temari jumped and used her fan to glide down standing next to the proctor. Several moments passed and the Nara hadn't appeared until finally he flew and landed in the ring with a muttering of troublesome blonde he got up and strolled over to face the fan-wielding Kunoichi. If the last match was a match for the people who loved the flashy and combat-oriented side of being a ninja this match was for the tacticians with Shikamaru using brilliant strategies to eventually trap the blonde in his cage main jutsu as he put her up to force her surrender he shocked both her and the stands by giving up. Stands with rookies. That lazy bum. What does he think he's doing giving up like that Ino yelled. That's just Shikamaru I guess he just got too lazy to continue Choji said enjoying yet another packet of chips. Kage booth. Well that was most interesting the old Hokage stated. Yes you have some gifted genin this year Hokage Dano although I can see the legendary laziness of the Nara clan is still evident even in the next generation the wind shadow stated producing a chuckle from Saratobi. Arena. After a short deliberation they decided to give Sasuke a 10 minute waiting period where if he didn't arrive by that time he would be disqualified. Ginma was just about to formally eject the Uchiha from the exam when he and Kakashi arrived via a sunshin. We're not late are we? The lazy John Nin asked. Your match was already postponed and he was just about to be disqualified you got here seconds before it became official the proctor said. Uh sorry about that we forgot to set our alarm and then there was this black cat that crossed our paths so we had to take the long way around the copy ninja said causing the John Nin and Chunin who knew of Kakashi's distaste for deadlines to face palm. Ugh anyway the final match of the first round is Uchiha Sasuke vs Sabaka no Gara contestants ready then begin. Gunma called out. Sasuke sped forward at great speed matching that of Lee and began working away at Gara. however he was unable to successfully defeat his sand defenses. Stands. Rock Lee had just entered the stadium and made his way to where his sensei was standing talking to Kakashi about what he taught Sasuke. So you increased his speed and trained him in the Gokan but if Lee couldn't beat him like that that then do you really think Sasuke could guy asked. I don't expect Sasuke to win with Taijutsu but I assure you he has some good tricks up his sleeve Kakashi replied. Guy sensei I only just arrived what have I missed so far the green clad ninja said how did Naruto do against Niji. Ah uh, that was a most interesting match guy stated getting looks of interest from both the genin and the copy ninja. Naruto won and what's more it wasn't even a close fight my precious student just couldn't compete with Naruto's flames of youth the green clad janin said which greatly shocked Lee whilst impressing Kakashi. Suddenly the sound of birds chirping could be heard throughout the stadium. Kakashi you didn't guy asked only receiving a nod in response. Arena moments earlier. Sasuke was faster than the Suna ninja that much was obvious, but no matter how fast he was he couldn't get through the sand armor. You bore me Uchiha I have no interest in you anymore I want to fight someone else someone more worthy of testing my existence Gara said in a bored tone as his sand prevented a kick to his back. Gara formed a large orb of sand surrounding himself. What does he mean he doesn't want to fight me and am not worthy I am an Uchiha the elite he is nothing compared to me. It's time I taught him who he was up against thought Sasuke as he ran up a wall and performing several hand signs lightning started forming in his hand. 
Kanoha's number one emo charged at the orb of sand and spikes started protruding from the surface in an attempt to impale the Uchiha who was able to weave his way around them before burying his hand into the dome like a knife through butter. What's this on my shoulder blood? My blood, A-G-H-H-H-H-H-H. The voice of Gareth screamed Sasuke jumped back from the sand orb with a smirk to enjoy his handiwork but what he saw shocked him an eye and not the eye of his opponent this eye was different evil Sasuke was about to rush in and attack when pandemonium broke out in the stands as large sections. Of the crowd went to sleep and several Suna and Oto ninja jumped out into the arena. Gara's siblings came down and collected the deranged red head before jumping out of the stadium. Ginma landed next to Sasuke and parried several kanai aimed at him Sasuke you gotta go after those Suna gen and you can't let them get away the Chunin exams are over this is an invasion the Samban loving Janine spoke. End chapter. Chapter 12 The Invasion Naruto was getting drowsy when he took note of feathers falling from the sky genjutsu but why? The question was answered when explosions rocked the stadium and ninja from the sound and sand villages invaded the ring. Shino, Shikamaru we need to get to our Janin senseis to find out what to do and I already know you're faking sleeping Shika that ain't going to work on me Naruto said. Troublesome blonde fine it looks like Sasuke has run off after the sand siblings our senseis are in the next booth over let's hurry Shikamaru droned. Upon arriving at the location the Janins were fighting Naruto spent little time getting their attention. Kakashi sensei we are here what do you want us to do Naruto asked. You need to go after Sasuke and help him with those sand genin the Cyclops ninja said as he created a hole in the wall for the genin to leave the arena Sakura you go with them, and Naruto you're in charge and second in charge well I will lend you one of my summons for that. Summoning Jutsupakun here will lead you to his scent I will take command if Naruto is unable to Kakashi said indicating a small pug dog wearing a blue shirt. Yo! The dog chorus shocking Sakura who had never seen a summons talk before. You got it Kakashi sensei but there is something about the red haired one you need to know Naruto said. What is it the silver-haired ninja asked? He's like me was Naruto's only reply as he and his team leaving a now worried Kakashi staring out the hole watching them leave. With the Hokage. Kakuku it's beautiful isn't it Hokage Dano, the chaos of war the Kazakage sneered. I cannot agree with you there is nothing more horrible than war Kazakage Dano or should I say Orochimaru the old Hokage said sadness evident in his voice and knowing what his old pupil had done. So you figured it out did you Saratobi sensei the Hibi Sanin chuckled. Your life ends today one way or another Orochimaru I will not make the mistake of letting you live again Hiruzen stated with conviction. No sensei it is you who will die here today and your village will burn to the ground the snake taunted before going through several hand signs summoning Edo Tensei as three coffins came up from the ground out of the first came Hashirama Senju, the second came Tobrama Senju. The third however was disrupted by a hail of kunai and disappeared before it was able to complete the jutsu. Orochimaru how cruel and twisted are you to use them in this way the sandame said pity in his voice. Little Saru, is that you the first Hokage said. You have gotten old monkey was it you who brought us here the night aim asked? No I didn't bring you here sensei that was my pupil who is trying to destroy our village Saratobi said both joyed and saddened to see his former senseis again, joyed because he can speak with his long dead senseis and friends and saddened at the way they were going to be used. Orochimaru placed kunai with a seal on them in the back of the former Hokage's heads and life faded from their eyes and they began to get into a battle stance. Summoning Jutsu King Enma Hiruzen called and a large ape came into existence in front of the Hokages. Hiruzen what's going on here aren't they yes and Orochimaru is controlling them Saratobi asked the ape's unfinished question. Enma transformed into a large bow staff and awaited his predecessors to make the first move it didn't take long before Hashirama finished a set of hand signs and sent a pillar of wood charging straight at the monkey's staff wielder. Suna siblings. The three Jinnin from the hidden sand jumped from tree to tree but were painfully aware that there were two groups of followers and they were closing fast. The first and closest follower was Sasuke Uchiha they were not to worry with as they outnumbered the lone Uchiha however the second group they could tell was four or five people strong. What do we do we can't fight off the Uchiha here the others will catch up before we can finish get away we need to split up Tamari reasoned. I will continue ahead the Uchiha will come after me and I will get a perfect chance to kill him Gara said with a twisted smile you two can distract the group behind him he finished and the elder brother and sister split up from him to intercept the group behind him with Kankuro going on ahead with Tamari lagging behind. With Naruto's group. We are catching up but it looks like they the Suna ninja have split up and are heading this way Pakun said. Most likely in an attempt to prevent us from reaching Sasuke and Gara Shikamaru deduced. The lazy Nara's guess proved accurate as a few minutes later their path was blocked by the puppet wilder of the siblings. I will handle this fight the rest of you should continue on Shino stated on a monotone. You sure Shino we don't want to leave you here Naruto asked? Positive it would not be productive for us all to stay as it would allow our target to escape the Abiram said. All right, good luck, bug boy Naruto said, trying to lift the mood. The others continued on and once again came face to face this time with Temari. 
I'm not letting any of you pass, she said, taking her fan off he back and readying a swing, but before she could finish her move she froze. Shadow possession success, Shikamaru said as his shadow had caught the tall kunoichis, you guys go on ahead, it'll hold her here as long as I can, the lazy genius continued. Okay you gotta come on Sakura we have a team to save Pakun lead the way Sakura had a tick mark on her head angry at the way Naruto insulted her Sasuke kun but in the end didn't act out as she knew they needed to go make sure said emo was alright. When the pair and the dog arrived on the scene they were witness to Sasuke down on one knee utterly defeated while a torrent of sand raced towards him. Acting quickly Naruto grabbed the brooder and jumped out of the way quickly taking in the patterns on his face and arms what is that and his chakra it feels vile not angry and malevolent like Kyuubi's but sick and twisted it looks like it's coming from that seal on his neck while look at that thing whoever made it is a genius a completely fucked up. Evil maniac but a genius nonetheless that has to be Orochimaru's curse mark I would need a proper look at it but I can already see a slave and mental suppressor matrix in it as well as an addiction seal obviously the more it is used the more control that Hebe team gets over its users and he makes it addictive so they crave the power more and more Naruto thought placing Sasuke down on a tree branch and turning to stare at Gara. Gara had changed he was now completely covered in sand and had a tail made of it his eyes had changed from sea green to black with yellow cross pupils and he had a face that was no longer recognizable. So that must be Shikaku's version of the chakra cloak and by the look on Gara's face he is being overcome by the rage and hatred of the demonic chakra what do I do I only just started work on chakra suppression seals and I don't know any that are on the level I need to stop a jinchuriki guess I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way by. Kicking his ass Naruto thought as he pushed off the branch to attack. Gara couldn't keep up Naruto was far faster than the Uchiha and this was pushing his anger to new heights. Naruto on the other hand was just realizing how useless Taijutsu was against the Tanuki jinchuriki. Taking out an exploding tag and wrapping it around the base of a kunai Naruto observed the cloak of sand and decided it looked weakest at the base of the tail he drove down below the enraged Gara and proceeded to deliver what could only be described as one hell of an enema. The smoke cleared and the sand was now falling off the red-haired Jenin but Naruto didn't waste time he created around 50 clones and attacked from all angles the first group kicking the troubled ninja into the air Yuzumaki Naruto barrage the blonde yelled as all the clones continued kicking the red head in the air before delivering violent kick sending Gara crashing into the ground. Sakura was staring in awe at the blonde's power whilst checking on Sasuke who still had his curse mark on glaring at the fight in jealousy, and rage how is this happening I am supposed to be the elite me and Uchiha not some clanless loser, and Dobe why does he have this power but it has been denied me why the last Uchiha raged in his head. Damn you Uzumaki I will kill you now Ninpo, feigning sleep technique Gara yelled as he collapsed on the floor. Naruto stared curiously at the down gen and wondering what sleeping would accomplish when sand erupted all over the sand ninja's body and it grew to the size and shape of the great Bijou Shikaku. Ahahaha I'm free at last now I get to destroy things but first where is that little pest the giant Tanuki roared. Oh shit I gotta do something summoning Jutsu Naruto yelled and a massive cloud of smoke filled the air and when it cleared it revealed Naruto standing on top of Gamabunta. Oigaki why have you summoned me and it better not be one of Jiraiya's stupid tests again the giant toad said taking a puff on his pipe. A sorry boss toad but it's important this time look Naruto said pointing towards the tailed beast. What you want me to fight Shikaku well this brings back memories okay Gaki you're on but you owe me extra sake for this you hear me Gamabunta yell jumping forward and attempting to cut off the demon's arm but the sword became stuck halfway and the giant toad was forced to remove it damn kid is just like his father well this shall be interesting. You're a wind type yes? Well when I fire my water bullet I want you to use your most powerful wind jutsu so we can combine them for a collaboration jutsu. The toad ordered. You got it boss toad Naruto replied. The giant boss summons leaped high in the air but before he and Naruto could perform their collaboration the oversized raccoon quickly several air bullets knocking the toad and his summoner back. You need to wake the medium. That blasted tanuki can attack much faster than we can however if the boy regains consciousness Shikaku will disappear Gamabunta informed his blonde passenger. Okay got it you get me in close and he'll wake him up Naruto yelled back. Gamabunta jumped forward but Shikaku easily knocked him away. Ah, you are no match for me mortal now die the bijou roared sending a wave of sand at the toad who narrowly dodged out of the way. With Sasuke and Sakura. Shikamaru had arrived after dealing with the blonde Kunoichi and was watching in awe of the battle before him as he headed towards the other two genin in the area. Men at Naruto this battle is way too troublesome we should get out of here before it becomes even more dangerous the pineapple haired ninja called out getting the attention of the others. Sakura weakly nodded not wanting to get in the way of the fight or be injured or killed. Sasuke on the other hand just glared on at the fight continuing. How can this be? Even with the power of the curse mark I was no match for Gara yet the dobe is how is this happening have I improved at all? I need more power if I am going to kill Itachi dammit I need more power. Sasuke thought as he looked on at the two giant animals attacking each other I'm not going anywhere I need to see how much stronger the dobe is than me Sasuke seated. 
No, we're leaving. We will just get in Naruto's way if we stay. That's an order, said a small dog who arrived just after Shikamaru. Him and Uchiha, I don't take orders from small dogs. Leave me alone, Sasuke ordered. But Sasuke kun Kakashi sensei left Naruto and this dog in charge. We have to do what he says, or it can be considered insubordination, and you can be punished. Sakura begged her crush, hoping to be able to leave to a safe area. HN fine, let's go, Sasuke sneered, obviously upset at having to take orders from an animal. With Orochimaru and the Hokages. Hiruzen was in a tough spot he had no way of beating his senseis and former student the first and second Hokages it appeared could not be killed every time they receive a fatal injury they just healed. The forest created by Hashirama had become a trap for the aged Hokage, and he was being attacked from almost every angle is there no way I can end this yes. There is one way but it requires a sacrifice of one human soul well Orochimaru it's time to end this and I am going to do it with a forbidden jutsu even you have never seen Saratobi called out and made several shadow clones to grab his former senseis and his student Ninpo Shiki Fuin the Hokage called out as the spectral figure of the Shinigami. Appeared behind the old monkey summoner, and began devouring the souls of his predecessors. I'm sorry old friends Hiruzen called a single tear escaping his eye. It's alright sorry you're doing it to save the village I'm proud of you the night aim replied with pride in his voice. What is this how did you defeat my Edo Tensei Orochimaru demanded not yet saying the hands reach into him and begin removing his soul. The dead demon summoning Jutsu I will seal their souls away inside the Shinigami stomach for all eternity, as much as it pains me to do so, and you are going with them the Hokage informed his former pupil. What no I will kill you before you get the chance Orochimaru yelled controlling his sword Kusanagi to stab right through the chest of his sensei why didn't you get out of the way? He he because I am already dead the Shiki Fuin costs the life of the caster and has only been used by one other person the Yandame Hokage in collaboration with the eight trigram seal in order to seal away QB at the cost of his life Saratobi informed the now struggling snake Sanin. The pair struggled in a tug of war over the snake's soul for a while but it became obvious that the Hokage was weakening due to the blade sticking through his chest well it looks like I can't kill you like I had hoped Orochimaru but I can still end your dream of learning every jutsu alive by taking your arms F.E.I.N. Hiruzen called out completing the sealing. Orochimaru let out a deathly scream as his arms began to turn black backing away in pain as the old Hokage collapsed onto the ground he ordered a retreat suddenly the barrier that had been preventing interference dropped and the four sound ninja responsible for the barrier jumped and caught their master before shun shining away. With Naruto and Gara. Damn it this is no use I don't have any claws I need you to henge me into something that can hold on Gamabunta said panting from exhaustion. Okay I got just a thing let's go boss toad Naruto said determination filling his voice. The toad charged and halfway there transformed into Kyubi before digging his new found claws into Shikaka's sides allowing Naruto to jump on his head. And oh get off me you pest I will not disappear again the tanuki roared. Naruto summoned a clone and began gathering chakra in his palm hey Gara, it's time to wake up Raisengan. Naruto buried the small ball of spinning chakra into the redhead's gut shredding the sand armor causing the sleeping Suna ninja to awaken in pain but not far enough to kill the boy. No I just got free I don't want to leave again Shikaka cried as he started to fall apart and recede back into the seal. Gara fell to the ground into much pain to stand from the Raisengan as the giant toad dispelled leaving Naruto walking towards the down ninja. No stay away you will not wipe out my existence you how are you so strong Gara yelled clearly panicking and fearing for his life. It's painful isn't it being alone it hurts that you can't be loved like everyone else. I am strong because I fight to protect my precious people I am strong because I need to be to protect them. I don't want to kill you Gara you are like me but I got lucky I met Irika sensei and Gigi helped me but you don't have to be alone anymore Gara I would like to be your friend Naruto said. Gara was shocked this boy had just defeated his entire way of life and what's more he wanted to help him you would want to be my friend even after what I have done the redhead asked. Of course I do we are the same I have a demon sealed in me as well and we can understand each other I would be honored to be your friend Gara the blonde said sitting down next to the sand ninja. Thank you friend do you think I can be like you have other precious people Gara asked pleadingly. Absolutely in fact you already have others. Who? Your brother and sister they may be scared of you but they obviously still care Naruto said. The pair sat and talked for a while till Tamari and Kankuro arrived and collected Gara and jumped away heading out of the city. Tamari, Kankuro I'm sorry the redhead said leaving his siblings shocked at his statement Uzumaki Naruto hey how much have you helped our brother both siblings thought as they fled the city after it became obvious that Konoha would not fall. One week later. Naruto was currently standing over a picture of the Hokage after placing a rose on his tomb, he struggled to hold back the tears to honor his fallen leader and grandfather figure returning to the crowd he took his place next to Kakashi and Team 7 ignoring the jealous looks of Sasuke. The rest of the funeral service was a blur for Naruto who could only watch in a daze as the families of the fallen walked up to add their loved ones names to the memorial stone and once it had finished Naruto only had enough energy to return home and fall into his bed before falling asleep. Three days later with Jiraiya. 
The toad sage was sitting on top of a toad watching his apprentice from a distance, as he wandered around aimlessly trying to cope with the loss of his grandfather. What do you two want Jiraiya said not taking his eyes from the boy concern in his eyes. The two elders seemed shocked at the Sanin's attitude towards them. Ah yes Jiraiya the council has had a meeting and decided that you should become the Godame Hokage Koharu announced. Not interested Jiraiya responded. What do you mean you are the only person strong enough apart from Danzo to run this village, and we have via overwhelming vote by the Shinobi Council decided at this time we decided need one of the Sanin to take over from Haruzan Hamura said hoping Jiraiya would reconsider. Jiraiya turned to face the elders directly oh come on you know as well as I do I would be a horrible Hokage besides I have my spy network to manage as well as other things that are more important he said turning back to watch Naruto anyway there is one other person who would make a great leader of this village it is in her blood after all. You can't mean her can you Jiraiya she hasn't been to the village in years we don't even know where she is although I agree she would make an excellent choice Kohara said. Oh I can find her after all I am quite good at finding things the toad sage said confidently. Very well we accept we will issue you with an umbu squad for escort Hamira announced. No I don't want a squad tagging along they will just slow me down all I will take with me is my new apprentice I think he will be perfect for this kind of thing Jiraiya said. Very well when will you depart both elders asked. I will leave today no time to waste right by now the whole elemental nations would have heard of sensei's death we don't need any more invasion attempts and with that Jiraiya jumped away to collect his student from the streets below. With Naruto. So Gaki still moping I see Jiraiya said. Oh hey Erosenin I just don't know what to do I have had any family before but I did I imagine this is what it feels like Naruto moped kicking a rock on the ground at a fence. Yeah it's tough isn't it but the sensei wouldn't want you to mope around like this it's not like you at all he would want you to get stronger so you can prevent this from ever happening again so you should get stronger and make him proud Jiraiya did in an attempt to pick up the spirits and motivate his young charge. You're right Erosen and I will become strong enough to protect everything I care about that's a promise and I never go back on my word Naruto said obviously in a better mood and more determined than ever. Good man now go home and pack for a month long trip we have a mission to find the next Hokage and knowing Tsunade it could prove difficult. Now go get your stuff and meet me at the north gate the toad sage ordered. You got it Erosen and I'll see you there and with that the energetic blonde ran off home to pack for his new mission. What if Naruto trained by toads for Chunin exams? Thanks for watching my video till the end. If you enjoy this content then do consider subscribing to my channel and leave a like if you guys need the next part. Comment down and thanks for watching the video and see you guys in the next video.